I'm trying to remember what we did last week. Um, you guys were in combat. You guys got through the defenses. You went around. We finished. We arrived at the area right before the knights, and we were kind of collectively figuring out WTF we're going to do. And then the Imperial fleet was arriving and had begun exterminating the other side of the planet. I'm back. Welcome back. Hi, back. Let me save this form. Go. I'm at page nine out of fifteen. Aren't you proud of me? Oh, yeah. Proud of you. I know I am. I also got a really nice spinny chair now, so I'm not just sitting in a fold-up chair. That's always nice. Yeah, I, I have an inflatable mattress and a chair. A nice chair now. That's my <laughs> furniture. <laughs> and I'm about to bring a very expensive bomb dog home. It'll be great. That's the worst that could happen. Bomb dog explodes. <sighs> okay, no, no, no. The dog isn't built from a bomb. The dog detects bombs. Go putting that bad juju on me. Dog explodes still. Oh. That dog. You're supposed to be a dog that sniffs bombs, not a dog made of bombs. We've already established, well, I've already seen her. I petted her. I play with her all the time. Like, she barks, she wolfs, she growls, she sniffs. So, North, so, you should go into work. Okay. You should walk into work and uh, tell everyone it smells like updog in here. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Turn in your gun and badge. Oh, God. I actually got, it was either my mom or my dad, I got them with Updog once. It was funny. That's hilarious. Yeah. Did you guys take the elevator? Elevator? You guys approached the main elevator, do you not remember? We have not done We've switched that yet. to, now we're playing the game. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we came through <laughs> this doorway, and that's where we stopped. We didn't proceed anywhere past that. Yeah, you said there's a giant fight happening in front of us. Uh, yes. No, no, no. Out, you said out, there was like a fight here and like a fight you. here. Above uh, you guys. You guys hear it above you. I'm sorry, I'm deaf. Ah. I also think that it's currently M31. So take everything that I think with a grain of salt. No worries. Yeah, I, I was under the impression that this is the boss room and now the enemies are going to show up. That's kind of what I was leading towards, too, is because it looked like this and this were battle areas. Yeah. No. It was the so, main... so then what's the elevator if this was not it that we just, you know, walked you guys, Do you guys not remember? You guys went all the way down. You had to go down, and no. then you had to go... Okay. I wasn't so... here for that. I wasn't here for that, so I didn't go down. So Tyron told you there was a way into the installation. Tyron is dead. By... I don't think he died, did he? Who's Tyron? He he turned into a dreadnought. Yeah. Not Tyron, um Torian. The the lieutenant. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you'd have to go down four levels, go through the uh um, Oh, at the very city. beginning when we first started right. doing everything. And okay. You're at the main elevator that leads into the central installation that these guys created when they plopped down their stuff. So Okay, so then where is the elevator? One second. I'm reorganizing some folders here. Hi, bird. I choose you. It's over here by the circle. You not see that? Okay. Very barely. I see like a little sliver from my own field of view. So are you pr approaching with caution or are you just going in? Are you sending the bird in first? I said this in the yep. bird. Okay. Birds and clever ahead. Cool. We see the elevator. And no bad guys. This is the elevator? 
Uh, I guess you could do a awareness check on this bird to see if it sees any traps here. Doesn't see anything visible automatically. Do you want to go this way? Yeah, I mean, if that's what the elevator is. Okay, so it has detected. Let me see. Since that the, the, bird, the man named after a cockatiel rolls. There's two the turrets bird. up above this elevator. Oh, it's my bird. I like my cockatiels. Yeah. Yeah, there's two 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 turrets above this elevator shaft. Okay. And let's see, you got two point six, and it sees something weird over here. Or uh, I can't have to ping it. Uh, sees something weird over there. The other way. Yeah, it doesn't know what it is. I marked it. No, no, no. I meant the other way. Oh, this way? Okay. Dead end. Excellent. It's a door here. Sees. I was actually genuinely about to ask, is that door actually there? Or yes. is this one of those, they rip the door out of the joints and it's just a gaping void? No. These doors are, these doors that he's flying through seem to be ripped out as well. Alright, so before we head up there, is this the only way up? I'm looking at the lieutenant. He goes, it's the only way that I've seen, and they've since fortified it, it looks like. All right. What about a ladder? This is the Imperium, man. We don't have ladders. Mainest ladders? We do have surfs. Uh, no, 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 no. You... I have jetpacks. Yeah, and I can bring someone, I guess. Uh, I, I think I should be probably strong enough to lift I, someone. I up. highly doubt you could carry me. Uh, Bristol already also has a jump pack. We can both. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you forget so that he has super landing is strength, gonna be a though. Rough, though. No, she, she can hold on to you, and like I can also hold on to you, and like the combined thrust of uh, jump packs <laughs> can lift you or something. I don't know. I think that would tear Brazor's arms off. Yeah, trying to carry. I've got power armor. Is it strong enough to lift me? I doubt it. <laughs> That's what we were getting at. I don't think you can make Krom fly. Not with that attitude, we can't. The Emperor doesn't believe in you enough to make me fly. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, <laughs> There's two turrets above the elevator shaft, and then one thing down to our left. Now, when we approach it, I can momentarily disable the uh, the two turrets and possibly what's down below. During that time, you'll have exactly six seconds, or three seconds in this game's time scale, to destroy both of them before they act again, or can act. Is it destroy them, or is it get on the elevator? Uh, well, knowing most elevators, I imagine <laughs> those turrets will be able to shoot at us while it slowly raises. Yep. Especially with that roll. Yep. I, I was trying to repair <laughs> my shield. It's okay. Oh, okay. Do you want me to try? <laughs> you can try, sure. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing in general. Uh, I'm going to nice premeditate this as I do this. I'm not laughing with you. I'm laughing at you. Oh. Hell yeah. What? Because yeah, all the elevators so far have been horribly slow, yeah? Because, I mean, it's the Imperium. Most elevators yeah. don't move fast. Yeah. But this is a question to the GM. This elevator, it, it, it is definitely not. Uh, it's 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 different because it's uh, it's an elevator shaft that the chaos forces built downwards to get down here. That didn't so happen, you, whatever. you okay. don't know much about it, so you know it's an elevator because it generally looks like an imperial elevator, but chaos bullshit yeah, yeah. on it. But um, 
if what we were to get on it, it just activated. Would it appear like the turrets would just shoot at us while we're on the elevator? Yeah, what? it looks like these turrets are set up yeah. in such a way that it'll like <laughs> it. It's set up to be a kill zone. So as soon yeah. as you walk in there, you're probably going to die. Uh, it's it's the same turret that um, the lieutenant dodged auto cannons. So yeah, so that's one thing we're gonna probably want to destroy those turrets before we just get shot at the entire time we're on the elevator. What's uh? What about that doorway to the right? I'm kind of curious. You mean this door? Yes. You're talking about the way. Uh, so that's the hall. You're talking about that. Yeah, that's the hallway that has all the auto turrets down the way, down the length. You guys literally came around to avoid this. Well, you didn't. It, you didn't tell us that. No, you we just went said around. Was, well, you yeah, went around. We that was yeah, last. Yeah, I know. I don't have a like a global map that shows me everything. I just see a door, and I'm like, hmm, wonder what's in there. Yeah. So I was thinking of... like control room, maybe or mm -mm. something. It's the room to the immediately to your right that had all the auto turrets. So, and you deliberately avoided that. Do not die horribly. Then the stage so is yours. We have to get to the elevator, and the only way to the elevator is through two turrets. And a thing. What's up here? What's up where? The bird's up there. Excellent. Doesn't see anything. It looks like uh, various weapons. You see a lot of piled up bodies. You see... Go ahead, do an awareness check. Me or the bird? The bird. Whoever's in control of it. You mean the shared vision wizard? Yeah. Yes, so my bird. Ah, uh, okay. Like it you sees, said, bird. Yeah, it sees more of those uh, uh, um, metagun ammunition, or the cannons. More of the cannon ammunition stockpile over here. <laughs> like a lot more. <laughs> Let me mark. <laughs> Evil laughter ensues. <laughs> yeah, there's just giant stockpile. He's been oh. possessed by corn. Who? You. Airs. There you go. I put the bomb stuff up for you. Is that is that pretty accurate? Looks fine. So we got two turrets that we have to, we're probably gonna have to fight through, and a bunch of explosives, a bunch of potential explosives. Who's got a really good throwing arm for a really bad idea? Probably the guy in the giant suit. Oh, you think we could convince him to throw something deadly? I don't know. Can you convince yourself? That's why I'm asking you. So what are we going to throw? You know those big explosive char uh, fuel charges that we just found? Yeah. Yeah. We going to chuck them? Uh, I was thinking about eating them. All right. I'm on board eat, with this. Eat one of them. We could have someone shoot them when they're, uh, you know, throw them when they're near the turret. Shoot one. Expecting... Uh, at least the possibly the charge inside the turret to go as well if it does detonate. So double explosion. It's either that or we just get into a pissing contest with uh, those things. Right. We should also probably try and sabotage that other door in the hallway. You know, the one with a bunch of turrets. You killed the entire force that was defending. Or at least as far as you know. That's that's the key f phrase right there is, as far as I know. 
Also, I can disable the turrets. Well, if we just say, okay. Continuously. Continuously. I just well, need you to be able to destroy them while I'm doing it. Oh, so grab a bunch of the charges and just start throwing them at the turrets and have Brasaurus shoot them. Yeah, I don't care how y'all destroy the turrets, but I can kind of keep them uh, not working for a how while. Do, how do we feel about that? Carry two or three of those uh, melt of fuel ammo for the turrets, throw them at the turrets, have someone shoot them? Yeah, it's a good idea. Well, it's an idea so, for sure. Uh, considering otherwise I'm having to engage them with a spear and a shield at close distance. And they're yeah. Piercing. Just, a, just a thought. Let's do it. Alright. So you're going to throw it at it? So strength check for that. I have to go get them first. Right. So, how many are you grabbing? Uh, Rook Teal, how many would you say per turret? There's about there's about over a thousand in that room. Oh, you know no, no, no. I was asking how many he thinks I would need to destroy the turrets. By my estimate, hmm, perhaps five or six. I'm just going to pass two up to uh, Brasora on my shoulder. <laughs> and then we're going to grab a small handful. At least a total of ten. Actually, we'll, roll, we'll do this. You can roll to pick them up. You can just pick them up. Oh, I was going to figure out how many I'm picking up. Okay. I'm at least taking ten. There's There's several thousand, so... Yeah. I'm taking do 17. Do that with what you will. Well, because my other thought was if I just detonated all those, that would make a massive fucking explosion. It would. It'd probably kill you and everything. Oh, else. no, it would definitely kill me, but, like, it'd be a great way to booby trap this shit. Hang on. Don't we have a big detonation thing that we, we stole? Detonation For sure, you used it. Yeah, I didn't use it. Are you talking about the the blood? Thing? Yeah, the artifact. Yeah, whatever happened to that? You still have it. Yeah, you guys have it. Your plan was to toss it in the moat. Well, that was my understanding. You were going to toss it in the moat. See, that's a bunch of melted charges. You know, you start combining all these explosives, you can have some fun. Anyways, all right. You said you're ready to de you deactivate. Where do I need to throw this? Probably here? Yeah, yeah, there's one here, and then there's one over here. To the south of it. I'm making sure. Yeah, I'm getting it. Alright, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna do the thing, and as soon as I go in, they're gonna I follow will... immediately after me and throw them. Yeah. And then Brasora can shoot them. Well, as soon as I throw them, everyone should start getting on the damn elevator. Okay. Is everyone ready? I don't know. Let me ask everyone else. Everyone else. Ready. ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I shoot them as soon as they leave your hands. Boom. I step forward. So they're right in front of your face. And then uh, do face. Curse of the Machine God. All right. At head height? Uh, I succeed. Uh, I did it un unfettered, so... Uh, this turret, many, uh, this okay. turret, and if this is a mechanical object or has a gun, also that. <laughs> um, and for this round, uh, their guns malfunction. Got it. Okay, everybody else, do your thing. I passed the strength test. <laughs> Okay. Eat it. And it's going right here in the center of them. You said there's two up here, right? I can only see. I can only see this one. I'm presuming it's like right behind it. There's. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Yeah. So it's being yeeted. 
The past tense of yeet is yote. <laughs> All right, what am I rolling to hit this? Yeeting it at, at the strength of Krom. It's either going to impact and explode, or it's going to get shot and explode. And everyone else should be on the damn elevator. What is what is Brasora rolling for this? Really high. Damn. Unless it's a negative eighty, I hit it. Well, even if it's a negative eighty, you still hit it. Yeah. If it's a negative eighty-six, then you miss. <laughs> I think that's the only way you would miss. M. Dilla G. Damn, I just saw that's an 11. Holy shit. Uh, the turret's destroyed. Which one are you throwing at? Top one? Yes. Okay, that's destroyed. Who the feck is texting me? Sweet. <laughs> and I imagine dude would probably shoot the Melta at the other one. Yes, dude. He's the only one not here. Dude is not here, however... Hey, he did say we could control his character, so yes. his character proceeds to shoot the Melta at the other one. Uh, let uh, me get... What was this dude's character again? Dominic what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Yes, the other thing. And if it has a gun, it's currently not going to work this round. Uh, so you're looking at it? Are you observing it? I'm seeing yeah. uh, my peripheral. Uh, could you explain to me the fuck the shit that is? Uh, at first glance, you can tell it's that. A demon. Yes. I have a better idea. No. Melt a charge time. And he's taller than you, really big. As soon as you guys open fire, does he look got up? Oh no, he looks like he's about to kill you. Who's, uh, he's gonna be shooting for, uh, Dominego. Who's gonna be rolling his pew pews? Uh, I gave you control. Everyone should have control room. Where is he? I don't know shoot. who he is. Hold on. Uh, which, which one is he? I have control of like five things. The Negocast TR. That's VRX. Where's the other trainee? Quote unquote trainee. Are they here? Should I be here? Or they might, the tokens might have left behind. Let me go pull them up. They're I have here. control of, I can see uh, VRX. I was curious about the other one. Yeah, here's the here's the here's the trainees. So I presume the circle is the elevator area, right? Yep, yep, yep. So if you as soon as you guys this... walk in, one turret's destroyed, and then you guys are blowing up the other turret. And as soon as you're doing that, you see Alternatively, so there's a turret here and there's a big thing here. So if I throw a melt a charge here. <laughs> I mean, how big is the explosion? Yeah, as big as a melted charge explosion is? Which is not 10 meters. It's like so, and a half meters. throw it at the next turret or throw it at the daemon? Uh, throw it at the turret. Well, Dominego should be shooting the, the turret. Yeah. Dominego oh, well. shooting the turret, and all of these idiots are on the elevator. So it's literally minus, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five minus 60 for him shooting that thing. The turret? The turret? Oh, the turret. Yeah, all right. the turret. Uh, because the other Who's one got... just threw an explosive charge at it, right? Yeah. Who's yeah. got his character sheet open? I have his character sheet open. Hold on. Well, we threw an explosive charge at the top turret, but we're aiming for the bottom one now. Well, no, this is all Correct. consecutive, like, within a six-second span. Basically, I fanned out right, and Dominego's fading out left. Got it. Yeah, yeah so, so I... So the same I, single round, yeah. Yeah, in, like, one quote... Oh, basically, it's a surprise round. Dominego's hits... Uh, he does two damage rolls against the turret using his Melta. 
That's 50 that's armor. That's what it hits. So, it melts off the armor. It does. At least half of it. It's, what, 62? So... Does it have 62 armor? Hmm? It has does pin it... 15. It has 50 armor. Pin 15, 35... So it dropped from 50 to, what, 45? That first shot wouldn't do anything. And he has 45 minus 15 is 30, so... Did, did he start with 50 armor? Yeah, the... the okay, the, so he would drop to 35 armor with the first shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Not 45. 35. All right, 35, sorry. I was like... No, so then three damage is through. Sorry, I misspoke. I was like, that math ain't mathin'. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the next shot, three damage would get through and, and drop the armor from 35 to 20. 20. Yep. For all intents and purposes, that was a surprise round. So <laughs> we. Yep. Okay. Uh, we have to do initiative. Uh, and we're doubling our bonus. I'm tripling mine. It's what agility. Yeah. So my thing is six would be plus. Uh, oh yeah, I remember this stupid thing. That's not it. What the fuck is it? I'm boy. Am I gonna go before Rosora? I rolled uh, a what one. What am I fucking? What am I? Ro what am I clicking? I thought it was agility. Uh, so no. So you might have a, a macro button like at the very bottom, underneath all the character portraits, or maybe at the very top of the it's, screen. It's not. It's not a programmed one where I can do it because I'm oh, supposed okay. to add eighteen. Well, one d ten plus. It says thirteen point six, but it's not supposed to be thirteen. So, yeah. So that's what six. Yeah. So six plus eighteen is what twenty four. 24. Yeah. Yeah. That's with the uh, three times. So 24. Uh, oh, cool. And it didn't put me on there. You have to have your token selected when you hit that button. I thought, what do you mean my token selected? I have one thing. Well, it would help if the turn order was actually up. It is. No, it is. Yeah, it just minimized. wasn't updating my thing Minus at all. Minimized. It doesn't like me. I don't like it either. Okay, uh, so everyone got their turn order in order? Uh, mine's good, yeah. Okay, uh, so Krom, go. I'm yeeting an explosive charge. Uh, you, real quick, turret or the daemon? Uh, do the daemon, because Dominican can take out the, uh, the turret of his next oh, shot. Oh, I'm throwing an explosive charge directly at his head at the speed of Mach Jesus. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry, at the speed of Mach the Emperor. There you go. It's a 3.5 with strength. Uh, for the record, I'm in, I'm in, I'm doing this in the intention that Brasora can shoot the damn thing. Uh, I'm a few turns behind you. It looks, I know. Pissed, it looks pissed off. About it. I yeah. I'm throwing it in the intention that whenever Brasora's turn comes around, she can shoot it. The charge. Considering technically everything happens within the same six second time frame. Uh, uh, you might be too far away, actually. Yeah, you're I too far away to hit. You'll need wait. to get closer. How, wait, how, it's too far for you to shoot the uh, thing? Yeah, 30, or 30 meters is the range for my pistols. You can also chuck it and just hope to God it explodes. Well, you can shoot past 30 meters. You would just get a no. minus 10 penalty. I can't. Oh. No, I, I have that. You're 30 meters is shoulder. the absolute maximum. You're, on the, you're gotcha. sitting on the wrong shoulder. You're sitting on the wrong shoulder. You're on the left shoulder. Ah. Well, it did 61 damage. It, it explodes on him as you oh. chucked at him. So, very well. 
<laughs> okay, well, so it does explode on impact. Okay, excellent. Uh, and then let me click on this. My assumption was with the other turret, you guys knew it had some bullshit magic yeah. or whatever it's doing to prevent you from hitting it. So you just chucked it, shot it. So like, okay, well, it just kills it. Outright. Does that hit? Yeah. Go ahead, do your damage. Uh, uh, how many times am I shooting this thing? Eight times. Nine times. Nine times, sorry. Do we round up? That, what, nine? Well, basically, every degree of success is an additional hit. All right. So if you have 0. 0.9 degrees, that's one hit. Okay, give me the total damage. Because you succeeded. And every yeah, additional yeah. degree. I'll add all this up. One second. Stand by. We've got... Luckily, it's not going first or anywhere close to it. So hopefully you can kill it before it can hit you guys. That is 132. Okay. Uh, do, if I rolled a 10, does that affect anything? 10. Uh, since it's your turret that's firing and not you firing it. Right, you don't have a no. Yeah, you had some weird thing I remembered. No, Righteous right fire. Righteous fury. I think that's right. all I can do right now. Derek, please go. Sweet. I'm going to uh, stun the turret again. You don't want to get hit by that thing, do you? I'm going to spend a fake point to stun the turret again. <laughs> you want one of mine? No, we, we've got ours back up. All right, cool. Well, it's done for how many, what how many terrible rounds? terrible rolls. It's still still stunned, right? Because you only did it one surprise round, so it's done for how many for the first time you did it? It's just one round that it's stunned. Okay. Oh, actually, well, this time I'm just disabling it for eight rounds. Okay. Because the first time I did it, I was doing multiple things, and which is only like they they can't shoot for one round. Um, but now, because it's the only mechanical thing, I'm stunning it for eight rounds. Yep, now I'll probably save your bacon. You don't want to get hit with what sixty damage. Dominic, let's go. Is that all you're gonna do? Uh, I guess and. Move my 10 feet further onto the actual platform. Hmm. But yeah, that, that's my turn. All right, Dominagus, go. Dominagus proceeds to shoot the turret. It's super effective. <laughs> Just take his last roll and uh, insert that in. What was his name? Oh, yeah, hold on. Uh, let me just do it again. Here. <laughs> I can... I have a solution. Stand by. We just have a minus 60 to hit the turret. I presume it still is a minus... Okay. Uh, it's artifact on it. It's just bullshit. Oh, I meant to say it's Domingo's... Uh, let me reroll that. I'm going to use a fate point. From Dominago. Yes. And there you go. And there you go. It's destroyed. Good job, nice. Dominago. I'm proud of you. Yeah, it only, it only it doesn't have much life. It has like 50 life, but it had no armor, so that probably should. Yeah, that would kill it. Everyone congratulate Dominego when he actually gets here. Mm -hmm. I did the slow clap. Thank you. All right, Bizarro, go. Right, so that okay. melted charge actually hit him, and I don't need to shoot it, right? That no. is correct. But you, if you are on my left shoulder, you are close enough to shoot him. Okay. Like, quick question. Quick answer. Does this demon have a melee weapon or does he have a gun? You see a giant glowing red sword, like two-handed on him. 
Fantastic. Fuck this guy. Repel demon. He can't get within 15 meters of me. <laughs> I'm keeping nice. I'm keeping Brasora close. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so 15 meters around you? Yep. But is his sword 15 meters long? That's the question. I doubt it. Oh boy, there's a big bubble he can't get to. Yep. That's uh, the elevator. So I could. So hang on. What I'm getting at is theoretically, if I just stood exactly where I am, the best he could do is get here and then try and claw his way through the wall to the elevator. So what's the what's the exact wording on the repel demon? Oh boy, just just curious. Any demons? Uh, he if he tries to get close, he has to make an opposed willpower test. No, I think he's specifying any demon or that demon. Any demon. Got it. So oppose willpower test. To, okay, so he can come in. He just doesn't make an opposed willpower check. Got it. This is where we reject reality and substitute our Creatures own. that are in the area when it goes up are immediately shoved back if they fail an opposed willpower test. Okay, so let's see. He is so basically going... the exact same as a force grenade. He is going to come after probably you, Krom. And then you said a willpower test? Uh-huh. Any penalties? Or just... It's just straight rolls, I think. Okay. Oh, boy. Yay! <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh! I'm re-rolling that. Here's a fake point. Go! I'll what give you, you one. Why are you making the willpower test? It's an opposed test. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're opposing him. Uh oh. <laughs> Give you another like okay. to do that yeah, again. Yeah. I'll, here, take you don't want to be hit by this guy. Holy uh -oh. geez. This is okay. This is take the... another one. Jesus Christ. Remember, oh, you know, know, my yeah, you're getting that plus 10, but it's not, it's not helpful. <laughs> here, take I just one have to beat a 48. Why can't I beat a 48? Take one. Shut up and take my fate point. I already gave one of mine. All right, now you can All take right. his. All right, take here, now. take one of mine. There it is. There it is. 12. I either roll garbage or real high. God damn. 97 and 85, a 91 and 80, and a... F oh, my fucking God. Right? So, yeah, he's just chilling there now. He kind of glares at you, right? I Everyone get on the goddamn elevator. The other goofballs are. We have one, two, three, four, five people not on the elevator. Excluding Brasora because Brasora is sitting on my shoulder. It's Got not it. a hood ornament. I mean, only I, Karnoff is not on the elevator, and you guys, I think. Everyone is on the elevator. Yeah, cool. Everyone? So, everyone get on the fucking elevator. So, you're trying to look, push the button? Not yet. Let's, let's get everyone on the elevator. Is there anyone there? Are we all, all, the, all, the, all the guardsmen and the trainee are on, right? Yeah, yes. they're all on. All right, yeah, 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 there's yeah. a sign above their head that says on elevator. Hit the button. You guys, you guys are looking, you don't see any obvious buttons on this thing. You see an altar in the center of this elevator. I'm going to roll yeah, like I'm going to roll for awareness to see if there's a thing that we can do to get the elevator moving. Mhm. Mm Oh my god. That's still a success. It you is. Know, there's your character. You see that it's, there's a key or something you need to put on this altar. You're not quite sure what. Does the bomb count as a key? I don't Anyone think that's a good lore? idea. Demon lore or chaos lore? I have demon lore. I do. I don't have demon lore. I got a lot of chaos. I know I've got heresy. You've got I'll, chaos. I'll fake point that. Uh, well, I have demonology. He asked for demonology first, so. Yeah. And, and I got knowledge. that. All right. No, there you don't. don't. Maybe we need that artifact that Commander Blackthorn wanted so badly. <laughs> Here, does that count? Holy shit, a 14. The blood altar needs. There's a skull key that it places right there that will uh -oh. activate the elevator. We need this we need a skull for the skull for the <laughs> yeah, skull for the skull throne. <laughs> I didn't say that, you said that. Yeah.
So yeah, it's a skull key that activates the elevator. I think our DM's a heretic. Oh, he's always been a heretic. <laughs> oh, okay, so what I'm hearing is, is we now have to kill this demon. If Okay, what are the odds if one of us does an awareness check that we see a skull on this demon that kind of looks like a key? I mean, I see where a skull is on the demon. Yeah. It's pretty obvious. It's head. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm hearing is, is everyone needs to shoot the freaking demon. Just don't hit him in the face. Are we, are, are, are we going to get corruption points if we put a skull on the skull throne? Okay. That seems like uh, the kind of thing that would give us corruption points. It's not a skull points. throne. It's an altar. So uh, yeah, Virla, what are you doing? It's a skull. Okay. okay. You guys did all that uh, free checking. I am going yeah. to shoot at this fucking demon guy with my crack missile launcher, so I still have that. What's right. the radius on that bitch? It's oh, only like a blast of one. Yeah, okay. it's, it's, it's... Oh, that's right, the armor crack is anti-armor. Alright. Yeah, don't forget there might be knights, but... To hit roll, what's the modifier on that? See, it's within half distance easily. Yes. So be plus ten for half distance, right? Yep. And then <clears throat> probably another Tough. plus ten because he's a large target, right? He's super mm -hmm. large. He's larger than uh, like Crom there. All right. Uh, plus ten because he's a corn. Uh, plus ten because or plus another five because we have that shared link. Okay. Plus well, three, I succeeded. Okay. So let's do the damage. Oh man, that's like nothing. Holy shit. Yeah, Doesn't the sound strike isn't it able to launch multiple rockets in a single volley? Uh multiple rockets? Did he is it single face? shot or does it have a like a semi auto mode? I'm pretty then... sure it's just a single shot. Okay. Because I thought we got that one because it was spiffy. Um... I forgot the details on it. To uh, wait now. It's it's a sound strike. A single it's, shot. Okay. Yeah. It just doesn't really need reloading. That's the thing. Uh, I okay. gotcha. I, I'm. It's got a I might do a fate point to see if I can get the damage higher. Although if this guy's armor is uh, big enough, it won't matter. Fuck it. I'm tell, gonna fate point that. As far as you can tell, every shot that landed dealt a lot of damage to it, but. Just seem to shrug it off. Okay. Boko, can I spend a fate point to redo the damage? You can reroll your attack, yeah. Is All this right. thing indomitable? Yeah, I'll take it. Mine is fucking Hey Librarian, are these are these things indomitable? Let me think. Before he Okay. But the say I feel like these things are if memory serves, which my memory is bad, they're indomitable. Which means? You're not going to know how close they are to death until they're dead. They shrug oh. off. Yeah, they, okay. they have the ability to shrug off damage. I think that they can do that because I may or may not have something that lets me do the same. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, really, did your thing? Karnoff, go. I move, like, right in front of everyone, and end my turn. You don't want to get near this guy? Uh, you know, we have a barrier that's protecting us. I mean, you can just shoot don't it. Don't you have a gun? I have a flamer. I mean... Just shoot it! Can I even reach it? Let's see. You'd be able to. 15. Um... No, sorry, that's a range of 13. No, no way. Why are you doing it from the center of you? You can get closer. Fine. Well, from the edge of you is... Half move and a half move to shoot. Uh, it's like it's just an agility check. See if it gets lit on fire. Yeah, it looks kind of happy that you did that one. So. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. It just gleed at you. And my turn. smiling. Yep. <clears throat> Crom, go. 
It's an opposed willpower check for it to enter this circle, right? Yep. Cool. So what happens when the circle moves closer towards it? It has to make an opposed willpower check, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Cool. However, so, if it passes, it can stay in until it has to make another one. Okay. Yep. Which would be the next round, I imagine. Well, either way, it would have to make an opposed willpower check in a second anyways, right? Yep. Can it move in as soon as it passes that, or is it, it has to pa pass it, and then it can start moving? What? If what? it... Is it, hey, your whole turn has to be spent passing this willpower check, and then you can do whatever you want, and it doesn't affect you? Or is it pass your willpower check, then make your turn? Uh, pass your willpower check, then you can make your turn, as long as you're moving in it. As far as I'm aware. Okay. Good. I'm thinking of doing is... If it fails the willpower test, it is knocked back 15 meters. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So if I, if I move five meters closer, which puts you in better range, too, it would immediately have to make the, chest, the test, yeah? So if I move it should, right, yeah. right here, uh, and just for the sake of how I'm actually angled this so I move five meters closer which puts it quote five meters in ish it has to make its test and then I yeet another explosive charge at the uh, strength of mock the emperor <laughs> how many of those you pick up Seven. I picked up 17 okay. I've used uh, two. So I have 15 more. Got it. So at the speed of Mach the Emperor, I yeet this thing. At, again, at him. Strength check? Oh, okay, you did the strength check. Moth do your willpower yeah. thing. So, 62. And then the turret on my sh on the tur uh, shield is gonna uh, shoot to hit. Moth, it. take Moth. one of mine. Do you have any more? Yes. Alrighty. Jeez. What else got any more for him? I'm going to roll for the turret. You said so that's what, five, or is that six shots for the turret? That's six? Yeah, six. Total damage. Give me one second. 25 plus. Eighty-nine. Okay. And then Moth, you still need to pass your will save there. Uh, failed it. Failed it. Yep. Anyone can give him a fate point or... I don't. I I think I don't think we should burn it at this second. Okay. Because he'll Eric. have to make another one in his turn anyway. All right, Eric, ladies, go. Sweet. I am going to do possibility shield, uh, affecting all of us. The possibility and... shield. Uh, and then I'm going to do the jaws. I'm going to throw the jaws at him. Okay. What kind of ability is this? What does it do? I know it does the sharks, but it's, it an, makes it's an attack ability. It throws a field of uh, the sh uh, giant jaw shark that comes up, grabs everybody, and then pulls them down to the depths. Uh, damage does it do? Damage does it do? Oh, uh, 8d10 damage if, uh, does this one do piercing? Let me check. Or type. It's... Well, he's just been hit with two melt -a bombs so I don't think he has any armor at this point. No, he's, no, as far as you can tell, he had no armor. Oh, very well. Oh, he's okay, like, well. he's like a giant, giant. Well, he might have toughness, though, and that, yeah. uh, so. Toughness, yes. At this point, mm -hmm. armor, no. If he had any. I don't know. It does rending damage though. That's that's what. Uh, it doesn't look okay. like it does, has any pen, but it does rending damage. All right. Uh, so that's I'll eight d ten, rending damage. Okay. 
Do your damage. All right, but it also happens again at the beginning of his turn. Yeah, uh, he looks somewhat amused at you, but <laughs> you see a giant, uh, he cracked a smile when you did that. Well, oh, demons aren't am <laughs> He's not immune. He's especially corn demons are not immune to psychic powers. No, 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 he's not immune. He's just, it's like a- He shouldn't uh, be healed through psychic powers either. No, he just looks at you like, yeah, okay, asshole, that type of smile. Like, it's obviously hurting him. As long as it's not a, yeah, give me that power. I get healed no, 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 from it. No, 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 smile. No, 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 he's no, no, smiling no. as harder, Daddy. That's what he's smiling. Right. Oh, so he's a Slaneshi demon. No, no, no. He's corn, pain, <laughs> corn, torturing, corn. suffering. Right. You're literally giving him what he wants. He's enjoying the fight. Yes. You're a freaking psyker. How does the old guy know more about this than you do? All right. Old guy's been around longer. Dominic's go. That's fair. Oh, surprise, surprise. He Dominic has... proceeds to shoot the horn the demon. <laughs> he takes out the melter. And... Can you shoot? Hang on. What would be the the thing to shoot his, his weapon? It's Aiming, a cold shot. I think. It's just, yeah, it's, yeah, it's been uh, so minus two, so plus 10. Uh, so of course, it's really about torture. No, no, but your nails just, though. He he's enjoying. It just the causes fight. agony to make you feel rage, but it's not. Yes. Torture. They want me to right. blow up uh, his arm. Uh, right, so. and yeah, yeah that's why I, I was saying if we can if we can disable his weapon arm. All right, fuck his arm. You got it. Jeez. But yeah, it's a look of like your next type of look. Fifty-eight, I think that is off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. Quick maths is not my skill. Okay. Oh, that's hilarious. 58's the location he hit, too. <laughs> no, but that's, that's a college. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, Bersora, go. Oh, did that hurt him? Yeah, 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 it hurt him. He aimed at his arm to disable it, so with 58 damage, I hope so. I mean, his arm looks fine as far as you can tell, but yeah. Well, this one's going to hurt if I can actually hit him. Sure, it looks I like roll. you're going to hit him. Uh, this is a uh, sanctified weapon, so. 80, so. Yep. Now he looks a little pissed off at you. It screams in uh, rage, right? Looks... Can I scream uh, back? 23 would be his left arm, by the way. <laughs> if that matters. And not to him. He just looks pissed off and he's staring right at you. So... He has to do a willpower check. Yep. Okay. <laughs> he gets shoved 15 meters back. Yes. Because right? he's inside right now, technically. So he goes to right here at the edge of this. Yeah. Oh, wait. You, you moved? He was it. inside. I moved, and Brasaur is on my shoulder, so he became so five you're... meters inside the circle. So, so you're he's here. No, no, no. Right. No, no, no. no. He's where he was. Yeah. I was. The, the green right circle here. hasn't been moved. It, it does need yeah. to be moved to. I was here. here. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I moved five meters closer, so he would go 20 meters back. So he's, if he's, you didn't move him. He is where he's supposed to be. So he was flung back, not from the edge of it. He wasn't, like, repelled. He was thrown out of the circle. Because he, he became inside the circle, is what... Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he'd be pushed out of the circle. So. Yep, yeah, so somewhere on the edge of wherever this is. That's where he needs to be pushed to. Yeah. He gets pushed into a wall and crushed. I doubt it would deal any damage to him at all. Yeah, no. it, doesn't, it doesn't say it's got This, force, this is a harmless pulse. repel. It doesn't deal any damage. It would deal damage to the wall Here, if he got pushed into the wall. No, but it is kind of funny, <laughs> guys. You're literally just, like, pushing him back, keeping me off, I you just, guys. 
I'm just bullying him. You're like, stay back. Ah, Be quiet, demon. The power of the emperor Hello, compels you. Shamu. The power of the emperor compels you. Is that what I hear being chanted from my shoulder? Yes. Oh, my yep. God. Fear low, go. Just uh, don't move too far forward. There is a giant shark jaw that's ravaging the area. All right. Well, I, I don't intend on getting any close if I don't have to. Um, I'm going to shoot at him again, but this time going to load a plasma missile into the sound strike launcher. Plasma? Oh, because plasma's worked famously well for you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Where, where's where's your character standing? Uh, for safety reasons. Um, I'm oh, God. I'm fate pointing that. I'm fate pointing I the mean, fuck out of that. How many fate points you have left? One. Well, zero yeah. now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do good. All right, there we go. Okay. Bloop. A one and a ten. Yeah, the duality of dice. Um. Hold up, that that this thing is in the way. I gotta. So. What thing's in the way? The circle. The circle was in the way. I was trying to mess with his life, but the circle was in the way. Ah, that's not allowed. I, I can remove it if you want. No, I already did. All right. It, he seemed uh, to not care about that too much. So the plasma damage type has um, it has blast three, so it's a three meter radius blast, uh, and it's also special and volatile. I forget what volatile does. Is that the one where you roll real low and it explodes in your hand? Probably. Hmm. I would need to look right. it up. We've got time. Resources, right. the list of stuff. Let me look at for it. Why is SWAT cats or swamp cats uh -huh. in yeah. the resources? Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, volatile. If a ten is rolled for damage on a weapon with the volatile quality, righteous fury occurs automatically. Oh, okay. Which, okay. which is ridiculous because your fighting is. And it, uh, okay, okay. Death watch. <laughs> so do I fire another missile? It already missile? happens automatically for you. It happens automatically. You don't have to roll. It just happens. Yeah, but it happens it only with Xenos, and this is a demon. Fair enough, I guess. All right. It's just for volatile, though. Yeah, that's for volatile. So it's just another hit, right? Or do I have to roll for two hit uh, again? I believe it's another hit. So you don't have to roll to hit again because you already confirmed it. All right, there we go. And now I'm out of plasma missiles. That's it. Which means we don't have to worry about... It doesn't about cost you another missiles. shot, by the way, doing Righteous Fury like that, I don't think. Um, are you sure? Well, it's volatile, so I'd imagine the explosion... Oh, it's the round. Ah, okay. Not... Okay. Well, there you have it. That's a total of... Um, I can't do math today. It's 42. a total of 40... 32? 42. Four, four two. 42 with pen 12. Yep, I already added it. All right. Sweet. I love how on that roll, that duality, you rolled both a 1 and a 10. Right. Karnak, go. Uh, Karnak. That was great. Stays where he is and he ends his turn. <laughs> you don't want to get near it? Why not? What's the worst that could happen to you? Maybe later. Prom, go. Okay. Uh, first things first. Uh, that's a spicy meatball. Did, uh, did you just put up your possibility thing where it's an additional plus 10? Yep. Yep. Cool. Does that hit? Yes. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm eating a spicy meatball at, at his, his nuts. Yes. He does not like you at all. You can tell that he's just snarling at you the whole time. So he really, 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 really hates me. Yes. That's why he wants you specifically probably dead. 
I haven't done anything. I don't know what he's going on about. Also, we'll save. I just 60 this time. Is that what I, that's what I've been doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you succeed. Let me roll my damage. Uh, that's eight shots. That's going to be hilarious. You guys are literally just going to pin him in the corner and just blast him. It's like, no, no. You keep your no-no stick away from us. Don't touch me there. You are in the no-no square. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, plus one, four, plus 13. That's a grand total of 108 damage. Alright, you're like pissed off. You see well, part of him is like dematerializing a little bit. Hey, uh, Eric Clay, go. Sweet. Uh, there's one action to sustain, and then another action to throw another Jaws downrange. Because he moved out of the Jaws when they pushed him, right? Yeah. That's what I figured. To be fair, he was looking at me really, really weird. Yes. All right, so I succeeded. It's not a roll on the table. And it's another 8d10 damage. Bam. Twice, so long as he doesn't get shoved out of the way again. What What happened to those obnoxious things that you did where you kept... Oh, you didn't get any righteous... Okay, you didn't get any tens. Yeah, I, I didn't get any tens. Yeah, I remember the one time you did like obnoxious amount of damage. Like, oh my. Yeah, because I kept getting tins on every roll, but. Yep. I'm an ace, go. I'm going to take a random guess and say he's shooting a multi melter. Oh, hey, look at that. He's shooting his multi melter. That is 67 damage. I'm a fire in my melta. Uh, Brasora, go. Okay. Hey. You're you're within range. I checked. Barely. Huh? I'm checking each round with, with the the uh, my, the machine spirits. Minus 80. Yep. Ooh, okay. 17. That's probably just done. Okay, I'm just going to do this. Oh, boy. He's probably never going to get through. Oh, oh, heavens. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Higher. Moth that's is still, higher. That's yeah, still yeah that's a bad thing. <laughs> Has anybody got any fade points left? Wait, I think wait, I wait, no, Muff, you, you no, won. I just think you won. It's okay, you won. You That's won. It. Did, did I? You have yeah. less failure yeah. degrees than he does. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a, neg a, it's a negative. And you have a negative four All right. five, which yeah, is... Yeah, so you technically one. got a better result than he did. Yeah, it's just... You just had to be, ba quote, higher. You are higher, because negatives... Yeah. Negatives are inverted. You can feel that, like, uh, 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 you're... Your chant is waning there this time. Uh, he's almost breached through. What do you mean this time? This time. Because technically I brought him within the circle last time. Right. No, uh, I, I I, mean, I've been failing constantly this entire time. Well, the fate point would erase all the failures. and you just succeed. True. So your yeah. character succeeded, succeeded, and now you're like struggling. Right? So. Virlo, go. When he you dies... I'll I'll show you what his damage would have been had he hit you. Hang on, are you are you telling me that the thing on my shoulder that's been chanting nonstop is 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 having problems? Yes. Okay. Gives Polly a cracker. Hello. I'd like a replacement foot. We'll we'll get you one. Yeah, the end of this mission, which you're <laughs> pretty close to in in this mission. Yeah, it's only taken us what. 
a whole ass ten, year? Ten sessions and going this on a year. Mission? This yeah. mission? This no. mission's like more yeah. like five sessions. Um, tits. We've been here all year. Uh huh. No. Yeah. We've been here since oh, last yeah. year. What are you talking about? We uh -huh, love uh -huh, it uh -huh. year. We love it year. Get out. Turn in your badging gun. I have neither. You don't have a gun? Nope. Mm. Nope. Taking your shot Someday. reload? Someday. Are you holding off? Oh, it's my turn. Right. Um, yeah. yeah, you're here low. I will Rook fire it. another plasma missile, and this is my last no, one. Yeah. Dude, wait, just shoot. Wait. Oh, fuck. So what do you have that's what? not a missile? I mean, I could fire with my bolter. I could uh, do the stalker bolt gun. Might be the better option. All right. Do we concur that that might be the better option? I mean, what's this guy's defense? Is he just not... Did we melt away all of his armor? He had no visible armor. armor. Oh. You saw no visible armor on him. I'm just yeeting pla uh, Melta uh, charges at him because it's what I have that's ranged. He's All just right. extremely tough. That, and if I get close enough, to, if I get within range to poke him... Yeah, you just did more damage with that than you did with the, with all your missiles. Oh, man. All right. Uh, two, four, six, seven... Right, and he has no armor, so... Eight, 85 damage. Yep, I already mized it. All right. Karnoff, go. It's actually a really good amount of damage, dude. I enter a defensive stance. That's going to be in my turn. Do you also want to take the damn pistol from my hip? Krom, go. Well, he's protecting no, you in you. case this guy breaches your 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 uh, <laughs> repel demon thing. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Uh, at the strength of the emperor. Explosives, I choose you. 60 damage. Yeah, that's de that's dealing or 59 minus 50 or 59. Yeah, that's dealing like I think the lion's share of damage has been you yeeting those uh shells at him. Okay, is that what you're gonna do? No, stand by. Thirty forty forty plus one second is sixty one. That's that's what I'm doing. Hmm? Minus twenty one. Oh, mining is <clears throat> Eric, please go. Cool. Sustain. Jaws. Also, did he take the damage of the Jaws a second time? Yeah, he has not yet. So, do your damage? Well, it would have been the same damage as the one before. Oh, oh what was the damage? Let me scroll up. It was like... Uh... 37. There you go. Note to self, after this, go get more Melta charges. Well, that's a success, and it's not a devil, so no perils. Hey, I can now attack him again. You might kill him if you keep keep this up. You do it again. I was waiting for you to pull that off, man. I succeeded. Hey, I get to attack him again. Yep, I succeeded. Hey, hey. I to attack him again. <laughs> I succeeded. All right, that's where it stops. Oh, man. Yeah, he looks pretty pissed off. And, like, you see him starting to dem dematerialize here and there. All right? Still up. But he's going to take all that again next turn? Yep. Boy, he's probably dead if they repel him again. He's stuck there. Damn. Dominicus, go.
Melta, Melta. And you there? Hello? Hello. Oh, I guess my Discord went quiet or something. It did. Mine just <laughs> mine just restarted. Okay. Oh, mine did my too. Uh, uh, go my, ahead. Yeah. My... Uh, there you go. And there you go. 60 damage. Yeah. Yeah, he's slowly dematerializing. Uh, Bersara, go. It's not 60 damage, It's or, or no, it is 60. Yeah, 62 damage. 30, yeah, take the 2 from the 32, put it to the 20. Yeah, I know, I can't do math. I'm okay. sorry. Is that all you got, Bersara? Uh, yep, sadly. Okay, it's his go, and... I mean, if he fails this, he, you, you guys probably won, so. <laughs> All right. Moth, do good. Yay. Yes. Hey. Yep, he's stuck there. Fear, though. So one, one person's going to shoot him. Use your gun. Uh, Yep. Here we go. So I'm going to. If that doesn't kill him, I'll yeet another explosive at his face. Well, not his face, but him. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Hits. Okay. Four. Minus. There we go. There you go. Uh, six, two, minus 21. 40, 40, minus plus minus 56, 56, 60. Oh my god. 63. 63. Yeah, you just see, you, you still see him, and he's just slowly dematerializing, and his sword drops. But he's still there. And he's just looking at you, uh, Tesseract, and Beerlo. All right. So, hey, he's not looking at me anymore. Karnoff, go. I'm still in the defensive stance since it's my turn. Hey, Krom, go. Melta, I choose you. And he dematerializes. He's dead. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> poof. Not dead. He's poofed. He's to the warp. But so and okay. I, I, he melt a charge through his chest, and he just goes, Pokemon. Yep, like a Pokemon. I did catch one! <laughs> okay, I have a question. Is his sword not... still there? It dematerialized, too. Aww. It's a it's a demon sword. Can I go get some more Melta charges? for? Yeah, Leo if you went and picked up that sword, I'd have to shoot you. Yeah, I would <laughs> just probably kill you, too. Excuse All me right. while I go grab more explosivos. Uh, yeah, you can hold maximum of 30. They're just oh, they're cool. heavy. Picks. You gonna pick up all thirty? No, I'm carrying twenty five. Okay. So if the demon dematerialized and we can't put its skull on the altar, can we? Well, now we don't have to worry about dealing with Ham, so we can look for the skull. If he wasn't the skull. Also, guys, I found some really cool melted charges. Okay, everybody, check the corners. It should be glowing, either blue, yellow, or red. Doom. That's hilarious. <laughs> no. So, so, where he dematerialized, you see a bunch of objects. Uh, for legal reasons, I should probably not be the one to go step over that. Well, first, I'm going to wait for the sharks to stop sharking, and then I'm going to go and pick them up. Excellent choice. Okay. I'm going to do a search check. Yeah, do search. Oh. Well, well, I don't see I shit. Do a search check. I will look okay. around as well. I'm gonna uh, go to the objects and then pick up. Hey, okay. you find. Wow, Moth, uh, what is uh, with your rolls Karen? today? Yeah, yep. you you find a alien skull with the corn symbol embedded on it, glowing. Cool. I'm gonna point to it. Y yes. I, I am not touching it. Now, what other items are here? I think he's saying that's all that's there. Uh, no. Uh, well, he's in a pile of items. It'd be weird if uh, a single yeah. skull was a pile of items. No, no, no. <laughs> you found it. Yeah, no, no. You found a skull in the pile. And then, okay. uh, what was your search there, uh, Yelmug? 
Okay, here. Because you're uh, searching too, right? There. Okay. You find other other artifacts as well. Such as? Uh, you, one's a cone, and the other one is a <laughs> cube. You're unsure what they are, but you know they're corn artifacts of some kind. So things that should go within a room. In the vaults. Yeah. Yep. And be secured by the Ordo Hereticus. Excellent. Right. Uh, uh, if you want to figure out what it is, you could probably do a demonology check or something like that. Yeah, uh, let's do that. Yeah, so I don't think I would have anything for that. Nope. No yeah, idea what it is. Nope. What about uh, archaic legend? Sure. Heresy. Yeah. Any of those applicable? Yes. Which one is the most applicable? Uh, heretical. It seems to chime in a little bit too when you're looking at it. I was going to get a plus 10 on the roll because my possibly a shield is still up. And I can foresight it, which is an additional plus 10. Sweet. Which is nope. negative 1.5. <laughs> we have no idea what these fuck. things are. <laughs> Do you know well, if they're, they're of importance to that thing, whatever it was? It's all you know. Someone who's not gonna, who's not currently wearing armor that wants to kill everything. You want to? Uh... Yeah, I pick them up and pocket them. Okay, good. Because I have three. And I take the skull. I walk over to the altar and go, "All right." I look up the shaft first to see how plausible it is to just climb. You look up the shaft. Impossible. We're in an elevator shaft. It looks uh -huh. impossible because it looks like there's various gates above you. You're unsure. Of how they're constructed, but it looks like various gates. So <laughs> got it. All right. <sighs> so by the and way, you have protect me, and yeah, I set the skull on this altar. We're all standing on this on this uh, elevator. Yeah. So the elevator elevator starts heading upwards. Uh, by the way, you have five artifacts, unknown artifacts. Wait, don't. Well, isn't don't the know, elevator supposed that. to go down? No, we're going. Oh, going up. Going oh up. okay. Got it. I bring you guys. Hold up. By the way, does anybody want to melt a charge? I, do I don't have anything to use with. No. no. Uh, Rookatil is not allowed to have one, but does anyone else want a melt a charge? No. Okay. Hold up. I'm a fucking idiot. Let me see your shield. I'm genuinely fucking stupid. Hang on. I don't know why the fuck I didn't think about this. Hang on. Boom! Your shield's fixed. First step in recognizing it. I forgot. No, I never added the clavis. The clavis is an additional to the roll. Did you apply I'm... minus 30 to the roll? Oh, whatever. You still succeed. Thank you. That would succeed either way. There. I just thought of, I was just looking through and I'm like, wait a minute, I have a clavis. I keep forgetting to add the fucking clavis to the rolls. Mm-hmm. Still there? You are yeah. alone in the We're universe. All still here? We are all here. scroll so I can actually see. Another I, demon. Um, Uh-oh. All right. See, you I see them kind of like embedded in the wall as you're rising. So... I want to... I kind of want to say I am Alpharius just to see what happens. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. They're embedded in the wall. So they're... You, you see... Yeah, yeah. They kind of looks like they're sleeping or doing something. So do we feel like not addressing them might be the good choice here? <laughs> They're sleeping now. Let the demon sleep. They can wake them when we blow up the place. So you doing silent move? Did we reach the top or are we still like going up? Yeah, you're at the you're at the top. You're at oh, the okay. Oh, okay. You're in the facility. You hear the battle <laughs> raging around you guys. I see. God, there's uh, two of them. <laughs> I think it's uh, Virlo's job to scout ahead, and I guess so there's, so there's a different uh, order. Quick, you Cyber. are correct. We also, we also have the bird. Yeah, which is even... go the other way. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, is this where we need to go? That bird just like teleported. Yeah, so fucked you see off. The, you see the you see the uh, exit here. <clears throat> okay. All right. So going straight is probably best because that way we don't move by these two guys. All right, Vera, take the lead. The rest of us, quietly. Womp, quietly womp, move ahead. Womp, 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 womp. So st stealth walk or stealth? Uh, yeah, silent, silent move. move. All right. Where's silent move? Here we go. It is right above swim, right above advanced. Okay, so I have an ability. Uh, Rerolled failed concealment, shadowing, and silent move checks. So I'm going to reroll that. Oh my god. Does anyone have a fate point? You can have my fate point. Alright. Well, he is moving, and then the rest of us still would have to. Oh my have fucking my god. Uh, I'm going to say now, we all also have to make a silent yeah, move. Yeah, we all have to do this. So. All of it. So. Yeah. Oh, possibility shield is up, though. Okay, so I succeeded that. that. Yeah, succeeded. Oh, then I get my fate point back. I sure. So, All right. So everybody's gonna have a plus ten to their roll. I'm already thinking about silent moving with my foresight. All right. Well, I failed. So. <laughs> oh God. Hey. I'm just I don't think we're gonna just, succeed in this one. But I just want to see, see what this would be. Uh, hey, give me a second. Hey, I'm quiet. I'm rolled a ninety quiet. and you still shit. passed. Yeah. It turns out they're all just statues. <laughs> silent move is just nothing. Yeah, yeah. I rolled a ninety and passed. Alright. So um yeah, it, it's annoying because it's like what Space Rex are known for is silently moving and hiding. And I failed every single silent move roll I've ever made in this game with them so far. Yeah, God. you're also a space shark uh psyker, so Yeah, but I have silent moved at plus ten. Yeah. It is in this explicitly. Because it's what space here, drugs do. Here's the kicker. Brasora doesn't have to make a silent move check. Nope. <laughs> it, it's a good thing because I'm not trained in stealth. I know. That's because I was carrying you. Can you uh, carry the, the rest is, of us while that, you're at it? I guess the good news is, is that they failed worse than my sneaking. Yeah. Yep. So I succeeded in that manner. All right. So we've all successfully moved. Let's all successfully Get the fuck out of their initial sight range so we can be, you know, not here. Yeah. How f again, let me look up and see how far I can actually move because I remember that this is wrong. I can move. What are we doing? Half moves or full moves right now? I think it's full moves. Yeah. Full moves? Okay. I'm going to move 34 meters and get the fuck out of Dodge. Or at the very least, that silent move is going to put me up, like right here, away from them. So there's a door between them and me. <laughs> there is something between them and me. Yes, it's really... called me. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's as far as I can move in one movement. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I move <laughs> less than that <laughs> because possibility shield was still up. Oh. I'm gonna really should invest into a jump pack. All right. This is where he tells us, yeah. Once you get past, once, yeah. Uh, once, yeah, Mike, if you're past this first door, you're fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got one more silent move check to make. Yeah, you do. At plus ten. Wait, where are you? This is you right here. Yep. Okay. Holy I shit! Make that. Yeah, that's what my character is supposed to be able to do. They roll a one. Then they roll a seven. I'm good. Pretty close at 26. I, I've made it past the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got really close on that. All right. Uh, bird, go do your things. Which bird that is, I don't care. The shared vision wizard. That's who. What's over here? What's over here? Don't say wizard. 
<laughs> I have some bad experiences with wizards. <laughs> Real quick, we think this room is clear? Uh, no, no, no. Fuck the fuck no. Fuck no, no, and no. I like, how they weren't, I like how they weren't there before. Now they are. No, no. I just didn't see them. Okay. I didn't see them. See, when I said wizard, it's a callback to a campaign that Moth and I did before. We got trapped inside a uh, tower against a wizard who was named Wizard. <laughs> Uh, All right, so uh, we have good news and bad news. Which news yeah. would you like? Because as it came up here, it sees these things are plopping off the wall, by the way. They're lay like in the wall. Brethren, I, I believe we should try and find an alternate route. There is no way in hell we can fight six demons. Um, I would like to do a navigation check to see if there's any other way around all these demons. We've also got the uh, modifier. The breaching auger, which literally looks through walls. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to do nav check. Oh, holy it's shit. I rolled a five. All right, Boca, what do I see? No other paths. So, with your nav check, you might know a way around these guys. I might know a way around these guys. So, the... All right, Duke. Newton. Are you sharing? Are you sharing the intel of the bird with everyone? Yell mug. Yeah. Okay. So there's ventilation shafts here and here that will lead outside. Possibly. What about right here and right here? No. You look at the, You look at those ones. <clears throat> you just see like, mode of blood going through it, or river of blood or oh. whatever. Hey, what a coincidence! Remember, this is the the, the uh, facility above that blood tunnel you guys are blood trying tunnel. to destroy. Oh. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the blood tube, giant yeah. elevator. Yeah. I say we make a break for the shafts. Agreed. Let us proceed. Okay, we're moving very quiet. Clomp. I'm hunting Clomp. wabbits. Clomp. Clomp. Are we actually going to roll, roll make boost out rolls the entire time, or? Oh, you don't need to. Good. Okay. Well, then it's just. Yeah. Let me copy you guys over to the new page. Oh well, then I'll. If okay, yeah, we should do that. Yeah, we'll yeah. At least, at least it, it leads it, it leads to the outside. Which vent, or do we not know? You don't know, so it's up to you. But which one you take? Use the breaching auger and scan. The one oh, to the right. Siege, okay. siege aspects. Yeah, that thing. one to the right seems to have a tunnel. Breaching auger is a big ass drill. Yeah, you knew what I meant. We mean what you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I go in the vent first. Small people first. Uh, are we climbing for this or what's going on? No, no, no. I'm moving you guys to the new map. Oh, I meant in here. Ah. You're crawling through it. Okay. Hey, Brasora, I have great news. You get to use your limbs now. <laughs> what? Well, little there is left. <laughs> you've got three or four. Yeah, you you still have seventy five percent of your limbs. Yeah, that's a huge amount. Hey, you guys um, see yourselves? Um. Yep. 
Um, this looks vaguely familiar. Um, um, yeah, I have so many uh, tiles. That's. Uh, um, Hello? Uh, yeah, don't worry about ah, it. Ah, damn. Yes. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we now you see what I'm seeing. There. We knew uh, they were here. Uh, uh, no, no, I don't like that. You put that face in back the other way right the fuck now. Oh my Still god. Yeah, uh, hi, welcome to the fight. Anything. Glad to have you. Um, I have, I have, can I go back in the tunnel? No. Oh boy. Uh, Don't worry, we have two void grenades. <laughs> Three might... void grenades, but you can only use two of them. Actually, oh a well-placed void grenade might uh, take That's their exactly heads off. That's exactly what I was thinking about. Yeah, take off a foot. It'll take off a foot. <laughs> so... It'll get rid of their ears to make him go deaf. Are you gonna do that? You guys mentioned that you're gonna use the bird and yeet it onto him. Are they currently engaging us? Do they know we're here? They're currently engaging other targets. Okay, so where the fuck do we need to go? First question. I swear to God, if you say it's this building of or this building. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> There's only it two should, buildings. It should be like this building. There's actually several buildings. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six buildings and a tonk. Yes, but which one do we need to go into? Great right. question. Navigator, go. Actually, All right. Lieutenant, well, go. Most of them are far too close for comfort. So, yeah, your scouts are, if you remember, your initial scouting <laughs> party actually infiltrated all the way up into here. So they actually know the, the precise building you need to go to. Right. That's what That's I was asking. So which one is it? This one right here. Okay. Oh man. So we go hard our right, go hard right, and then straight down behind the buildings and coming up the backside. Sure. I'm eating a pancake, so don't do anything man maniacal or evil right now, please. Right. And you suddenly, yell mug, feel like uh, you're disconnected from the warp coming into this area. Well, wait, cool. we have to go in this building or we have to go in this building? The barrack oh, structure. Not the bunker. Are you being doing a awareness check on the walls too? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Because that way, you know, we can find uh, any of those warp scarecrows. Right. Uh, awareness of 1.8. Okay, I'll mark it on the map. I still have uh, the thing that so Karen you gave me. Yeah, you see, there's one up there. What thing that I gave you? Uh, hold on. Uh, the siege aspects. E. That one thing. up there. All and right. Then who else, who else uh, looking? Okay. Oh, how many? How many awareness checks do we already have? Uh, eins, five, two passed. I uh, I can make another one. Hold on. Uh, okay, never mind. I don't see shit. Yeah, negative, negative two. Well, you see two on the walls. So one and two. As far as you can tell, there's, oh, there's wait, only two. On. I bet. Uh, does the Manego see anything? You can spend some time Absolutely. looking for it first before you. Yeah, let's go let's investigate this, and then uh, I'm gonna do a thing. You remember that big ass fox caster that I said I was bringing? No. That yes. Was, yeah. Yeah. I uh, I'm, I'm uploading coordinates with that thing to, uh, to everyone. And on imperial sites, I'm marking these as uh, priority targets. Okay. So you're asking them to do some kind of strike on these things, you guys? Are... I I am preparing it for a strike to be ordered on them. Yes. I'm not currently ordering it, but I'm like I'm uploading that da data as priority target. But I don't have the engage order yet. Uh, and I'm gonna. Yep, that's what I'm about to say. Uh, I'm going to inspect this section of wall here. All right, I have a question about the big guys. Do they look anything like the space sharks that we're supposed to be rescuing? The, the titans. No, the titans. They're they're titans. They're oh. round titans. 
No, okay. no, no. These ones are knights, not warhounds. Oh, these are the knights? Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Why, that's why I use night miles. They're not quite warhounds, but they're still pretty potent. I got a 6.8 on my uh, secondary check of the wall. So you don't see any more wards in the wall? Mm-hmm. Are you checking anywhere else? If I'm not seeing anything anywhere else, then yeah, I'm going to start bringing my attention inward towards me and then back out the other way going down here. You want to make you rolling as I yeah, go layer there's through layer? Yeah, there's buildings and such that also have wards, possibly. 7.7. 7. Okay, there's one I'm, here. And yeah, that's, I'm about to say I'm checking in like strips as I go. There's four on this one. The oh, hello. All right, I'm highlighting those on the visor. Uh, Eric Clades. Two on those building. I'm not a psyker person. What is? Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, nine. Well, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yeah, sorry, I might have reverted to high gothic. <laughs> high gothic is German. It is now. Actually, it is. It's it's that mixture of like German, Gaelic, and Latin. Are you looking at anywhere else? I have scanned those quadrants. I'm going to shift my attention to the other sector now. I don't know, like, how many of these I would have to clear in what area. <laughs> nice. See one there. Uh, in or, in one order there. for... See one there. Ericlides okay. to be able to use his thing. Right, and you see one right there. I mean, we could just grab the people and then come back here and go back underground again. And then I can gate us out. We have an yeah. hour and a half. If those, So if we get bogged down with those knights, we're screwed. So we should probably destroy as, how many of these do you need do you need destroyed in what vicinity as close to them where we can well, I can tell you now go. Currently I, I don't feel the warp at all. And we're pretty far away from all of them. So it's not a vicinity thing. I think it's a quantity thing. Okay. So we think that that building is ballpark. Here, hang on. I'm gonna I'm going to zoom out because this thing's... There we go. Yep. You think that's See, close enough? And there's one in between those knights as well. It looks like the little fortification ritual thing. It's bigger than the rest. So probably the main one. Yeah, and now I'll... I'll, I'll make it special. It's special? There you go. It's special. That orange circle, you think that's far enough away if we destroy the, whatever, what would you call these? Blockers? They're effigies. Effigies, okay. Yeah, they're effigies. Scarecrows. They're, that was also Scarecrows. partially towards Eric Clady's in character. If we destroy those, can we use that as a warp point or gate point, as you called it? You mean if you destroyed uh, all of the effigies around here? If, I, if we destroy one... Two, definitely three, and then the four in the building below. Would that be far enough away from everything, or do we have to come like up here? So, what I said again, currently, I'm asking, where I'm at, currently where I'm standing, I feel no presence to the war. I'm, I'm asking for your educated guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My I'm educated guess is give it's, me, you tell me need, what you need. Because my that's what guess I'm going to go do. Is we need to destroy as many as we can until I feel the warp again. I don't believe it's a proximity until we're well outside of the area. Um, because with the way things are, I doubt we could be we could get a shuttle to come in and land and and board. Plus, we're expecting the them to be incapacitated in some way, shape, or form, which means right. we're going to be carrying them. Well, let me make a uh, I don't know a war demonology check. Sure. To uh, determine plus, plus thirty. You've oh. also got your possibility shield. No, it's off. Oh, never mind. I did. I included the bonus anyway, but then I remembered. No, it's off now because. Did you add your plus thirty as well? Yeah. Okay. Anyone? Anyone have a single fate point? I have exactly one fate point. 
Sweet. Oh, one moment. Would you like uh, to give it to me? <laughs> you can have mine if you want. Okay. Okay. I succeeded in knowing what I need to do with these effigies. Okay, so you do need to destroy them. The central one is probably key to the rest of this. The other ones are range based as as uh uh, Karen probably predicted. The center one is the one that's amplifying all of them. Making it impossible to get out of range. You'd be well outside the base. So yeah, right. we're going to need okay. to destroy that, and then wherever we warp from, we can't have any of the actual things there. Precisely. Repeater. Right. So figure out where we want to warp you want to do the thing from. Destroy I mean, the effig The effigies there will have to be destroyed. We can do that, that as we're pushing in. I I feel like each one of those effigies on the buildings is restricting the buildings, a zone around the building. So if we can destroy the two on the building, yeah, that's plus what that thinking. one in the center, I could probably just make the gate inside the building. All right. Do you want me to send that big one in the center as a priority target and just ask for as many airstrikes as we can? Uh, yeah, because that's the important one. And we can just I don't hopefully know destroy the other two oh. while we're at that building. So I know all of our Titans are down. All of theirs are down. You have also lost a cruiser on the far side of the planet, if I recall. Did we? Mm-hmm. In the swing battle? I wasn't here for that, so I actually didn't. Oh, okay. That. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, you have... I can ask all remaining guard forces to make their push for that location and have them come in from what, like whatever direction is possible. Yeah. You still have various bombers. No, yeah, like that. that's what it, like. Basically, I can do. I want. I need a priority gun run here, and then send any and all armor you have after immediately after it to this location. There are two knights. Yeah, they they tell you they know they breached the wall. And the no, no, I, no I, I was I was saying, oh, I'm okay. saying this to Eric, ladies. If yeah. you're good, I will send that up as the as the Vox transmission priority target right here. I don't know what payloads they would have. Uh, I don't think it matters as long as that. Uh, it's not, it won't be destroyed. nuclear. I know it's not nuclear, but no, they had, they had just standard payloads. So, which even the I, biggest bomb I think would be what fifty meter radius at most, which the building's out of range of. All right. So are you saying that order, Yelmug? Because I believe they're your forces. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, I mean, they're, they're yours. I'm just doing the targeting data for it. I can, I'll submit it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, read All the right. coordinates. <laughs> Let them do the bombing. All right. Uh, and in fact, if they can bomb into the other buildings, but priority is that one. Uh, okay. I'm, so it's I'm centering gonna, on that. I'm going to give you your ETA to be able to fly down and do that. So it's going to be a 1D. And it's going to be 45, and that's in minutes. So. so you can be there in 10 minutes. There's a squadron nearby that can bomb it pretty closely. Well, I'm voxing it to every Imperial force on the planet. Yeah, that's the closest one is 10 minutes away. <laughs> oh, I was like, so even if they don't, that's everybody. Priority... Yeah, so, targeting then, G data and Vox is putting Vermilion classification for the target. It doesn't get higher than that. That's like the Emperor himself said, kill that. Right. Vox is to all available forces. <laughs> so the first strike will be there in 10 minutes. The next two strikes that, that you could possibly summon with your available forces is 26 and 33 minutes out, respectively. We've got an hour and 30, so that gives us an hour before we know if, hey, we need to go take it out ourselves. Right. Eric, uh, I'm going to relay that information from what I'm hearing over the Voxnet to Eric Ladies. Uh, first strike, 10 mics. Second, 20, uh, second strike, 15 minutes after that. Third strike, 10 minutes after that. Understood. Let's read to that building then. All right, we going around so we're not immediately in the line of sight. Like, bloop, bloop. Oh, look, it's General Akak. -Ak. What? Oh, God. It's a car. 
How does this look for you for uh, right. plan drought? General Daka. Even though they like Daka. birds, be generous. We could probably just go on this side of the building straight to it, as long as those knights are sufficiently distracted. Well, yeah. I was thinking about being away in case a, uh, a round goes off too close from blasts. Yeah. So 137 meters. Yeah, I don't time is of the essence. I can run 100 meters. That's you. <laughs> That's why I was asking, because I can just start sprinting. Chris, oh, here. We all make what. it. So let's all start sprinting. I will just sprint to here. I can get here in six seconds. Who else? Can anyone else get here? What Sire, here? battle is going as planned. Enemy patrol frigates are heading your way. What are your orders? Which one was General Aka? Is that is that the guy from the horses that's staying behind for the rear guard? Or because I remember we started an evacuation order too. It's the general over the entire operation. So, relay. How many? Ladies. How many frigates are in that patrol? Uh. So I'm asking, box referring and, back to him. Yeah, I'm, yep. I'm relaying. Tells you that many. Uh, and how many frigates? Three you frigates. Us? You just have the what, the two cruisers, and one of them is down because of the stealth Ugh. mission. And Ugh. right, so they can engage it at your command, but that'd be your only way off this planet. That's a really bad idea. No. So stay, stay hidden. Right. Because so. It's an hour and a half. That's an hour and a half. We have 30 minutes after that to GTFO. Right. Uh, also, these we, frigates are the vanguard of that massive fleet coming in. Yeah. Have we so. found Have we found the other uh, librarians yet? Or no? Yeah, they know exactly where they're at. They're here. It's oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in the building. It's right. the building we're running to. Got it. Yep. So, real quick. I can run to here with Brasora. In one turn. So how far can everyone else get? So he's telling you he's giving the estimate. Half that distance. How much do you weigh? So those I'm, those I'm crew... bigger than everyone else, so heavier than everybody else. Yeah, so about sixty three minutes from now, those cruises those frigates will be literally on top of you guys. Okay, so I thirty minutes after we make entry to the building is, is when they're here. Uh, can, with that, can I carry, uh, Slowfuck? Who? Um. Dilma. Uh, yeah, that, uh, the Psyker. I get on your shoulders, and then <clears throat> Rosora gets on my shoulders, and then we're gonna put a giant trench coat over all of us, and we'll just <laughs> act like a chaos demon. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, boy. I am a demon prince, bow down to me. I'm not. I was going to say. Oh, I go to the bathroom. Give me one second. Okay. It sounded like he said that succeeds. So, <laughs> rather than you. Okay. Who else can go this distance? Who else can go at least ninety meters? Well, uh, not me. I can only run to forty-two. Take an educated guess. So it sounds like same as me. Oh, okay. Not charge. I, I think most but. of us are going to be able to get to around. Tell me where everyone else can yeah, run, here. and then me and Brasora will go further. So for those with the jetpack, everyone else is just going to go probably to around here. I mean, if I jetpack, we'll get all the way over here. Was that Bras Brasora? You and I can go 104 meters. Yeah. I'm just you saying, know? if you need to take anybody else. Oh, that's fair. So, I, yeah, I roll the 96 on strength. Or, or sorry, 9.6. I think that would succeed in carrying at least one of you fuckheads. Right, but so there's still can... the rest of the crew. Well, so we have not being able to make moment. it very far. No, we have two one people moment. with jetpacks. One of them can carry one, so that's one, two, three, four, and then five. How many do we have? Eins, zwei, drei, well, vier, five. We have the rook. We I have think I can also carry someone. The gunner who still needs to be carried. We have the two rookies. We have. Well, the all rookies the other will be people. working on destroying effigies. Okay. So you're going to fan out the other people. You're going to fan out your team to destroy effigies. I was gonna say we can take those of us without. So if we do, like, because you guys don't name your names, your name. If we do, Dan, Tess, Ericlades, and me. That's Moth can go on their own. Ericlades can be carried by someone. Uh, Dan could carry Tess, and then I'm carrying. Like I said, Ericlades. That's 
There's one person we're not carrying, right? It's also a dude. Mouse, like, broken. Dude. <clears throat> what do you want the guards to do? They're they're asking what do you want them to do? I so say we can have them go. Uh, they can assist with destroying and effigies. destroy the effigies here, here, and then working on here. Because by that time, that'll take what ten minutes. The first strike will happen. Then they can come up and start taking out these. What effigies do you want them to focus on? They're asking. Uh, I think these buildings, like the floor on this building. I would say, do we want to have them just come in a line along? And this, the yeah, yeah, like everything on the left side of the screen, basically. Okay. So they're gonna go. So the lieutenant says uh, he's gonna go assault the uh, that facility. Let me go run a battle for them. My question is, do we really need to all get to that one point of cover in a single turn? No, we're gonna take multiple turns getting there, but we gotta still just get. Here. Yeah, as fast as we can. Right. Yeah. Because here's the thing: if one of those knights turns around. I mean, you can just give me a void grenade, and in case that happens, there's two void grenades. Are you gonna or put it on your bird and and eat the bird at the the night? If they turn oh. around, yeah. Let's say once we get in the cover, and we, we like fly it to the cockpit, her. and then just let it drop the void grenade, <laughs> and have you it fly try, back. You want to try it? <laughs> Do we need to be closer for that, or what's the range on that? You thing? can literally, you can literally drop it with the bird and just fly over there and do it. Uh, I'd say, can we not do it while we're immediately all in the open yeah. and going yeah, to die? Yeah, we should. I think that's that'll what... be the thing that a situation will happen whenever it's let's, attention yeah. is on us. Let's get. I mean, to... I could take the other void grenade and do the same thing to the other knight. We do both at once. I'd say here's a rough path. Come up to here. We're at least in cover, and then we push straight in. Because by the time we get to there, that's in ten minutes they're gonna bomb this. So there's a good chance they'll start hitting right. the Well, in one turn we get here, second turn we get here, third turn, you know, we get to the building itself. Are the knights That's void eighteen shields. seconds. Yeah. <laughs> like let's just move. Are the are the knights void shields up? Uh do an awareness check. <laughs> Because your character would have knowledge on these things, I would, I would imagine. Yeah, it's either that or I can roll a tech. As far as you know, their shields are down. Can I do a tech? <laughs> Go for it. Fuck or tech. lore or something like that. Yeah, I'm going to do a, 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 a lore. Uh, Imperial military, since these are old military assets, or do you want... Uh, sure, heresy? yeah. Okay. No. They're heretical, but yeah. You would you'd know I, them. Yeah. Fate, please be with me. Nope. Damn. They're giant mechs. Fuck it. YOLO. I need to take my dog out. I'll be right back. That's a lie. I'm also getting coffee. See? I fucking know. Uh, well, me and Moth are unable to move. What the fuck? Please stand by. There we go. So you're currently uh, not, you're not engaged in combat, so you don't need to take turns, but just go ahead and move to your positions, and then... I am here with Moth. Okay. That was and, a run. Or, sorry, a charge. Okay, and then that first... That first effigy with the guardsmen, they report back. They lost a uh, large percentage of their forces, but they were able to destroy it. So there's like good. There's like four guys remaining. Where's Rook? Where's those the, the MGM the, rolls? Where's those? Hang on. Where's those? They rolled a the 95 on the last engagement. So. Uh, well, oh my god. Two, they took two Astartes with them. Yeah, the Astartes are fine. Okay. Yeah, but the guardsmen themselves, uh, pretty dead. One on the perimeter. Where is this effigy here? Is it on the top? Yes, all of them are on the top.
and then I'm doing maths because if I think if we clear out the stuff here with that one, that should be a wide enough range where there's no effigies that. Because I sure as shit don't want to go here. Because mm. with the direction that tells me that's where the battle is. So I want to go back here. Hey, Tess, you think you can hit something on the roof of a building? I can try. All right. Think a crack missile or do you have anything just uh, H E? By the way, yo Mark, crack. as soon as they destroyed that first effigy, you felt a faint connection to the warp for a brief moment. I know what H E is, nice. I just don't think I have anything that's H E. You bring a you brought a frag missile, yeah? Nope. How many cracks you got? In fact, let me do Three something. crack and one plasma. Yeah. So one notices that explosion over there with that fight. Uh-oh. This is like... where you get to cover. Was I passed down the void grenade or not? Yeah, yeah. you yeah, have I a void grenade? You. Yes. Yeah. The cybird's uh, got one and you've got one. Good. I'm assuming, and... I'm assuming Virlo, you're not there, right? Where? No, everyone should be over here now. Oh, well, yeah. one, if one round has happened, then no, not everyone. It's not, there's not rounds. Oh, it's he not. Said there's not no, he said uh, I would have carried rounds. someone. I, 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 I passed the strength check to carry at least one person with me. No, you're you currently not. Yeah, you're currently not engaged in combat. You don't need to do rounds right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then. Yeah, yeah no, I, I just will. did my But we pass. should all be I there. Was... Yeah, yeah, yeah you should already be there. Here. Yeah, just just move everyone okay. to that side. Yeah. Oh, I've been not moving me, but I've been moving Dominego. That's fine. That's funny. <laughs> I say, if the rookies can take out this, I have enough charges. I think I could probably just eat the charges up here. Well, this thing's over here investigating it, so... Cyber, I choose you. Yeah, let's Good see if uh, So, right. since it's turned back here, if we destroy its leg, it will it might fall down and not be able to move. Do you want the leg or do you want to try to use the head? So it doesn't see the cockpit. Well, what's, what's the head going to do? It's just like, there's not much inside <laughs> of it. It's the cockpit. It's... It's a night. There are systems in the night. Anyways, uh, so... Well, I mean, it's still got a pilot. Yeah, you kill the pilot. Yeah. The, the, the night doesn't do anything anymore. Also, I'm back. What a miss. So uh, you're up here high, to me. How high are the knights? Missed one of the exactly. knights aggroing. Oh boy. But not on us. So all the guardsmen except for the lieutenant are dead. Wait, oh, but you said four lived. Four lived. That's the first that battle. From the first assault. Yeah, and then there was so, the second battle. Yeah, which they destroyed that effigy. So. Okay, that's when I was talking about shooting a missile at, for the record. Well, they went and assaulted it. They didn't want to wait. Fuck it. I'm all... And that, honestly, meters. that was... And, and they didn't want to cross... Yeah. And they didn't want to cross the path of this Titan. or So they just attacked the second target. Second target of opportunity is what they saw. So they went to that building. Yeah. I cannot get up 50 meters, I think. Because that's like what the the new suits, like the Gravis suits from like the Primaris Marines can do. Like they can actually fly, but... Uh, sorry, how hover. tall is this thing? Uh, ten About to forty. Or, sorry, th thirty to forty feet. Knights, knights are ten, nine to ten meters. Sorry, nine to twelve meters. Yep. Oh, so thirty to forty feet. Yeah, no, that's they're not stupid high at all. They're like three times. Okay, three. They're like five. Oh, I guess to six the, the model is fucking me up. I guess uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I yeah. I literally like... just pulled up like the actual height from the website. Mm -hmm. We could definitely get up those then. All right. Yeah, All right. shooting it's not going to be any good, but you can throw rocks and shit at it. That's why I was asking. I'm like, if the void shield's up, bomber isn't going to do anything. If the void shield's down, we don't have to do anything. Or we, we don't have to you do anything. just get inside the void shields, yeah. Or just get inside of it. Well, no, that's what I say. If the, yeah, if the void shield's down, we don't have to do anything. The bomber will hit and boom, they'll be blown to smithereens. If the shields are up, bomber's not going to do anything. It's going to turn around. It's going to, like, uh, do we have the tarps? Do we have your camo cloaks? Well, it's investigating this battle over here, these two battles over here. So, like, you know, it's going to turn Foxing around here to them. eventually. Stand by. You have a knight uh, approaching. Get cover. Get concealment. Wow. Uh, it sees these guys. 
All right, so it's all right. Time to spring back into action. All right. Um, so it's about how much time has passed between those ten minutes on that first strike? Forty something. Five. All right. About five minutes passed. All right, Boca. How do you want me to do this? How do you want me to fly up to the night and toss a void grenade inside of the cockpit? I thought we were going to use the side grenade or the the cybird. The cybird. The cybird. Yeah. That's All right. Probably the safer okay. bet. You will yeah. sacrifice the cybird, or are you is he going to drop it? Uh, okay. He's just going to drop, drop it in it. the cockpit. Yeah. Okay. How how long would it take the cybird to get to the other night? Not long at all. Seconds so what moment. if we have one of us drop one grenade on this night and have the cybird take it to the other one to take out the other one? So we get them both at once. We can try. So, so let's I'll go take the right. cyber to the other one then, and then uh, Karnoff can drop it on this one. I could drop it on this one too. So, so Karnoff doesn't rolls? have to make rolls. I was say, alternatively, if we don't have to engage a second night, we, Moff, we've only, there's only aggro for one. Like I'm missing a foot, but I don't need to land, and my jetpack, I I can fly. Your movement is still halved because of it. How would my jetpack would, movement how would, be yeah, halved? How would having, no, having, but like according to the I moves, should so, like, I should move slightly faster because of that. Boko, <laughs> GM. No, it doesn't it shouldn't hinder your movement at all with the jetpack. Yeah, pack. exactly what I was saying. Uh, yeah, like yeah, I know the rules might say that, but uh, yeah, flight's different. It's, flight's yeah, flight's not ground movement. It's technically aerial movement because so, he's piloting. He's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because jetpack's a uh, uh, a vehicle. So you I want to. to Sorry. Uh, I want to remind everyone that we still have the orbital bombardment coming in. And that yes, should take care of Yes, we have orbital that. bombardment coming in, and we don't already have aggro for that second night. Right. Why we should stay only only when right, we need right. to, because it's a full-ass night. We're yeah, not I trying agree. to engage it. We're trying to get in, destroy these effigies, and get them. If we can just If we can take this one out, cool. That night will take probably 30 to 60 seconds to turn around and figure out what's going on. By then, we can all get on the reverse side of this building, out of sight. Bombers should hit like a minute after. Mm. And then if, like, at that point, I would expect the night, if he does approach, he'd probably come here, which lets us go, bloop, and get in. At either rate, bombers should be taking this out. Because we have two more, we'll have two more waves after that first wave. So why Did, do I roll? Three pilot checks if you're going to fly up there. Or are you guys doing the bird first? Uh, bird's probably the easiest. Better control. Yeah, the bird will be a guaranteed one. I'd say do the bird. I'd say do, I'd say do the bird. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it's the guaranteed. bird. That way we can stay further away from it and keep moving. So we're setting a bird against this one on top. Yes. Yeah. And what what is it? What does that grenade do again? Just delete it. Just, it, 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 it it's gone. It's just straight up gone. It, well, it, it deletes a like a one area. radius Was area. It three meter radius? Or it's a, a three, three meter, meter radius. Three meter radius. Or three and meter it area. Jumps. It's just gone. And uh, then it teleports uh eight or up to eight meters every every turn uh, every in round. a random direction using the directional thing that you guys got excited about. Mm-hmm. Fancy. And then I've marked a uh, a de quote designated. This is where I want a GTFO from. That's that orange spot. So all we have to do after that goes down is take out these effigies and these six. So we all we got to take out six more. We've already taken out eight. Two. Are you dropping it right on the head? Uh, on the cockpit. Cockpit. Okay. Fly into the cockpit, land into the guy's shoulder, and then detonate the. Gear. I mean, if I can, yes. <laughs> but that's a very poorly designed cockpit. Oh yeah. Here's what I'd it like looks to like. Fly into it. Nobody expected infiltration by bird. Okay, by the way, here's here's a height comparison for you. Um, whoever it was that was asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that door on top is where the cockpit is. Yep. So you can literally just go. Which, I mean, theoretically should annihilate with a three meter radius. Yep. Anything that's directly on. Uh, so you're doing that? Uh, yeah. 
Okay, so this thing goes down as soon as you do that. Drops. I'm telling everyone to get the fuck to the side of this building now. Or Including uh, goofballs from that strike force. Yeah, I'll just mark it dead. Uh, so Lieutenant and our two guys are down here as well. Yep, just falls to the ground. Because the void shields don't protect things. Going, it's like uh, Star Wars, right? You can go right through it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah, what I was that's that's why I was asking because if they were down, we could also shoot them. Does that make sense? Yep. Probably not gonna do much, but yeah. No, no. Uh, the only thing we would have that would do anything would be the multi belter. Eventually. Yeah. Eventually, I'm telling these three goofballs up here. Uh, they're. I'm going to give them some explosive charges to yeet at the speed of Mock Jesus. All right. Mock Emperor. So, are you saying the Marine, the, the, the squad back in to do the last, there's four effigies here? They're on top of the building here, right? And I'm, we're right next to them. They're, yeah, so... Yeah, Eric, is you good? We're going to just... Well, these are, you said these are on the roof? Yes. All right, Eric, Lays, how do you feel about us just tossing some charges up and destroying these four? I'm going to go for it. Wait for the first bombardment, and we'll try and do it, quote-unquote, simultaneous. Should be three minutes, three and a half yep. minutes for strike. Well, yeah, well, it's actually happening now. Let me go ahead and do the rolls for your bombardment. Okay, so. I'm yeeting a charge on this first one. If someone can shoot this one. Uh, so, I got that. so, do a dodge check, because there is one that was a <laughs> very, yeah, it was a pretty bad roll. Nice. Um... And that bomb's gonna land right here. The red I circle. Need a dodge. Yeah, red circle. So dodge, We're get in cover. Dodging. Every last person. So, because it's gonna have, you know, 30 meter radius. How but far it, off target were they? It was just one stray bomb. Someone, oh. like, jinked it and bomb went. 100 meters? Jesus, he's yeah. off. Yeah, he rolled really bad. Well, hang on. That's a 30 meter. Or how, what did you say the radius of that bomb was? 30 meters. Uh, would it, that mean it would destroy part of this building? Yeah, the like building. The top the building, of it? The building's toast. Um, but you guys oh, need to be able well, to survive. That's, two, that's two effigies <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> you you got to be able to survive what's about to happen. But yeah, the effigies destroyed uh, in the center. Completely destroyed. What about these two here? Uh, would that build. blast from this? Would the blast uh, from this take out this? Take out what? From would that blast take out these two effigies? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the that whole building that is pretty one. much toast, okay. and the rest of the building collapses down, and the two effigies are on the ground. The two remaining ones. Everyone, everyone passed their dodge. Uh, not Except everyone. Except Dominego. What's uh? Plus possibility. No. Shield. Grabbing the lieutenant before you say anything. So actually, you know what? Can I actually? Lieutenant's well, since lieutenant. he's not here, we're gonna say Dominate succeeded automatically. I don't want to kill a player. Who's not session. here? Yeah. Right, because otherwise he's gonna take like uh forty ten plus fifty damage. Oh, the 50 alone. Good God. Me. Right. Well, I think the strike was accurate. Uh, I am updating Vox as we go. Updating yeah. priority target. One times night, one times tank. Uh, and then I'm marking a do not hit. Right. Hold up. Let's see. The lieutenant needs a dodge, too. He's I gonna... grabbed him. The 11.2. Right. And then, and then the other guys need to dodge. The trainees. Yep. Yeah. I don't have access to their sheets, I don't think. So, since I wrote so high on my dodge, can I go for one of them? You can the go for one of them. Yeah. And then the other can... one, we need to fate point. You can? I have a fate point. Yeah, uh, at this point, <laughs> we're a little low on fate points. It's been a fate pointy day. He's dead. Um, Let me pull up the characters. Uh... You can save one, the other one's going to die. So which one are you going to save? Yeah, I'm gonna I saved the see. closest one, which was Tiberian Crawl. We've got Crawl, which is an Apothecarian, and the other one is a Chaplain. 
Yeah, Virax is dead. We have bad history with chaplains. We've had one. Two. Yeah, bad history. Well, somebody was trying to be one. Oh, well, he shot himself one. in the face. That would have sucked if you all failed your dodge checks and had no vape points and took that damage to the face. Everyone like, would be dead. So we have an apothecarian still, which is good considering we're going for librarians. Where was the apothecarian when my foot was damaged? We well, can't hear the whole time. I generate a foot. Yeah, he he and I both like kept you from bleeding out. Remember? Mm hmm. Oh, I didn't realize the apothecary was helping. Yeah, me and him. That's why how I because I, I I had a I think plus ten to it. I thought about it, which gave me another plus ten, steel? and then he added to it. Did Sylvester and... Steel come with you guys or no? No, no. he's back on the ship. That's Who? right. Moss that medic. My medic. Oh no, because we've well, Phallos, Unless I don't know what happened to him, but he's still alive. The sergeant from my team. So I've got two people left alive and two missing. Mm -hmm. and one of one. my teams is eighty percent KIA. Yeah, that sounds about right in forty K universe. Yeah, no, no, the one team twenty percent MIA, eighty percent KIA. <laughs> <laughs> it's about on par. Yeah. And just to uh, think, if you all failed your dodge check, that would have been 75 points to you guys. Would that have killed you guys? Probably. Yeah, it's just... It, it's flat. a flesh wound. Sorry, right, uh, back nothing, next week. Nothing do any Why damage is everybody the... dead? Why am I the only survivor? What is all right, so uh, we have, what, one or two effigies on this building to destroy still? It's on the ground. The building is, cr is decimated, destroyed. Okay, cool. and... We can stomp that effigy as we go, and I can, I can get in that building just on a flat move what about everyone else yes can everyone else can get inside this building yep yep okay uh we need to destroy which effigy here is it that's still intact on this building that's on the ground you said you destroyed you can destroy both of them you just walk up and destroy both of them okay cool we're destroying them as we go nope doesn't fucking see you cool also uh Somewhat, uh, on the way back, if we can, I, I need to grab Virax's uh, shoulder plate. For reasons. And his gene seed? Yeah. Yeah, you're probably carrying The apothecary will grab his gene seed. I'm grabbing his shoulder plate and helmet. It's, it's a black watch thing. The rest of us are moving. Yeah, I'm not grabbing his shoulder plate right now. I said on the way back. The rest of us are all getting in this building, and I'm marking the knight as a priority target. Cool. I'm going to be reusing a base because there's also the same kind of things in there. Let me move you guys to where you need to be, though. Oh. You guys are down. Oh, no. Versus. Got this place again. Yeah. And the guardsmen are all dead. It's just but a memory. Yeah, that's on par. There were guardsmen with us? Yeah, they died taking down the effigies. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, uh, <laughs> what was the training that got, that got yeeted? Hmm? The training that... What was the, the uh? Hold on. Oh, uh, Felix uh, Lycandris. Nope, not that one. Sorry, Lucian Virax. Yeah, okay. Just making sure I got the correct one on the there board. Uh, okay. he is a chaplain from the Obsidian Jaguars. He's dead. Kral's alive. I I already updated the uh, the chart. Okay, and let me get some forces. So we're expecting Danad Ventarius, Jurgen Windcaller, and that Carles sounds like a Skyrim or reference. Jurgen Windcaller. That's that the, is a Skyrim reference. It's a Skyrim reference. Yeah, Jurgen Windcaller, a codificer from the Vilka Fenrika Rune Priest. Dips on his horn if he dies. <laughs> God damn. What?
We're expecting uh, an Angels Vermilion librarian, a Death Specters librarian, and a Vilka Fenrika Rune Priest. And then Fantastic. I hear he's the, pretty loud. Yeah, the Destroyers, the Mantis Warrior, the White Scar, the Silver Skulls, and the Blood Angel are dead. Just so everyone's tracking on the names of the three that we're looking for. Dane Ed. Well, it's in the list. Go look at it. Okay, so now that we're in, let's go kill some shit and find our brothers. Okay, so what I'm seeing is. There you go. Um, that that didn't do math, but there, there's my initiative. Uh, I just fucking suck at doing it properly. It's five plus eighteen. You gotta select your character and then you roll the initiative thing. And it, then... it, yeah, it, it doesn't work. So eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, 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 twenty-three. Using my first roll because everything. I, yeah, I hate this thing. Okay. Yeah, both uh, of those rolled pretty well. Oh, I'm just balancing things out because I don't want every guy to feel like a freaking boss and <laughs> should just be. That's three right. net tens in a row. God damn. Sweet. So, what do you do? Oh, initiatives. Okay. We, yeah, we, we were all getting an initiative. <laughs> I don't know about you. Oh, yeah. Uh,. Uh, hey, where's where's that sniper lady that's on my shoulder? Stop. Uh, how do you feel about the same thing? I eat a charge, you shoot the charge. Sure. Okay, because we've how got. How many charges do you have left? Twenty-five. He grabbed a bunch more. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I mean, if it works. Yeah, yeah, it works. It works. So let's see. And then that's. Eh, you think I you think I could eat something about here? Hold on. Eh, it's like Probably. a football, right? Wow, they all go. They all go freaking dead last. I guess you're lucky. <laughs> I you think I could probably eat it from here? How do you feel about that, Brasora? Yeah, I can hit that. Okay. I'll be using the sniper rifle to do it, but I can hit it. Cool. Has a blast radius of 10 meters. Oh, 10 meters? Fix, Where, the, how do you do the, the circle thingy? Yeah, because those, those shells are out in the open, so it's not... Yeah, so it's going to be a 10 meter explosion. If I did it straight on him... Yeah, I'll probably just do it straight on him. Like right here? Yeah. So you're gonna take out at least two guys. Yeah, that'll be my thing. Is I'm gonna yeet. I'm gonna yeet a charge at them at the. Speed That's right. Of the you have, have all those charges. I have 25 of them. And you're probably gonna need them. Don't tell me that. Well, there's more of those demons you have to fight. You oh. fought. You fought one. Uh, I don't fought. want. It. I don't want to fight. No, no, they're not allowed. They're banned. Well, I See, mean, now the smart play would be to end the session before we have to fight them so we get all our fate points back. Yes. <laughs> or take a brief pause. Because I don't have practice. We can keep going. Yeah, that's, that's the caveat is we can go indefinitely today. Mm hmm. But we're out of fate points already. So we started the battle fighting, uh, or the start of the session fighting a demon right off the bat. Yep. Which, if we had done what we had said yesterday, last time, is at least go up the elevator, we would have fought him, and we all would have had fate points. Right. Um, do you want to use the bird to see what's in the next room, and then you can make your decision? Bird is yeah. dead. Bird's not dead. Bird not dropped dead. a grenade. Bird, oh, yeah, well, he's not dead. suicide. That's why I asked. You're going to suicide the bird? So, go ahead, and you can make your decision. Uh, let's go away from next time. 
One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's three demons. And there's your uh, librarians, too. Oh, four, that's three five. demons from what we currently see, but there's, there's probably five more demons. further in the room. Three demons in there. I have a feeling that we're going to need our fate points to save the librarians, plus, too. Plus the two over here. That's what I said. There's five. Five demons. Yep. You can scout all around. There is no. This is the entire encounter. Yep, so five demons and a bunch of space marines. The space marines Nine, themselves are deadly. 11, 12. There's 12 space marines, so a full squad, plus... Plus, five. essentially, five uh, demon princes. Because if the health pull of the last one indicated anything, it's about on par with a demon prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was like 500 damage. I had 1,500 health, but no armor. It was just health sponge at that point. But it's supposed to be the guardian of the elevator, so I had to make it a, a boss encounter. But you guys essentially turned it into a Roomba match. We found the glitch in the game where we could yeah. just stand on a ledge and it couldn't get, yeah. get to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Want to see how much damage yeah, man, that's you how you win. win. Yeah. You, you also started the encounter like that, so we were like, oh, fuck. Yeah. You want to see the damage you would have done? Had yeah. Had he... Okay. Plus 100. No, mm -hmm. nothing like that. Oh, that, that, that would straight up kill anyone here. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. 10 D10 plus 5 plus 12? I'm yeah, just saying it has a lower hit. plus damage than some of the other stuff he's thrown at us. Yeah. It just has that's, a higher... That's, t that's a bit more reasonable. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it reasonable. Yes, reasonable. It's still a one-shot kill. Yeah, that yeah, would one-hit kill but anyone, the... which is insane. That's but the, whole... the other guys that we were fighting had like what a uh, five d ten plus fifty. Sixteen. I'm looking at now. No, there, there were people that had a plus fifty that we fought once. It's a little excessive, I think. Like it was when we were coming in here. The yeah, first this is time. one True. that. If this guy rolled minimum, we might survive it. How? Yeah. How minimum? Let's see. And now there's about five That's of them. Ten plus seven, so it'd be twenty-seven damage with twenty pin. Yeah, there's about five of them 20... guys in the room now. Who's got more than twenty-seven? Or, uh damage that they can take. Well, I got 23 wounds. Mm. 23 here. So that, that would be 7 into the critical chart. That's what I mean. Well, like any chart. hit would, at his minimum, would, it, would the best put you deep into the uh, critical chart. Right, but wouldn't kill us, though. It would just throw us in the crit. But that's on a minimum roll, which is unlikely. Yeah, that's right. what right. occur. Especially on a computer. Yeah. Case in point. Yeah. So there you go. A lot of damage. And how many times can he attack per turn? Oh my god. Just once. Just I once. I can actually... I can, I can bind him fairly you, easily, actually. You could dodge. You could dodge him or parry. Yep. Yeah, so I, made, the I made these guys... Stands, uh, yeah, the thing I, I can do with defensive stands, it allows me to add another reaction so I can... Essentially, I have uh, three parry reactions and one dodge reaction. Um, and he takes a minus 20 weapon skill penalty attacking me. That's But that means I'm standing still and I can't move. But yeah. So I could take him. Uh, like, I, I can bind him. I can stall until, like, you guys deal with everything else. What about five of them? Uh, you know gotta get lucky or something i don't know because i'm trying to think because five of them that's that's 7500 damage that we'd have to also, do so we have choke points that's is... if they still have the same hp that the other guys that the other guy had these guys are, are probably gonna be less yeah less. without going too he meta... did just say he rebalanced them down yeah okay yes so without going into meta do we have to deal 7,500 damage to kill all five of those bastards? No. We have no. a void grenade. And the, that void grenade moves, and there are things you want to keep alive in there, so explosive use should but are, probably, it is probably be minimized. It is. it is. It's a retreating option. Right. But they are going to be pretty, pretty tough to kill. They're not the Guardian that you guys fought, the Elevator Guardian, but they're 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 the guardians of this. That, room. Yeah, that was five turns with everyone attacking him except for uh, Dan. Yep. 
All right, so are we calling it, and then we'll have fate points on the next session? Right, we kind of have to. You can go in the room and <laughs> YOLO it. Seriously, you have two oh hours. Oh, my God. No. No. With no fate no, points? No, I would love to keep yeah. going, but we ha we all used all of our fate points. Yeah. I have one fate point left. However, do you guys think we can uh, last five minutes here without triggering anybody? Aggroing anything? I could oh. put down a demon trap. I'm pretty sure I mean, they, they see are us looking at us. <laughs> they're looking at us already. You know? yeah. yeah, those guys nah, see they're looking at a wall. They're looking right at you guys. What do you mean? There's a door in. here, and there's a door here? Yeah, and they're both open. <laughs> uh, neither of them have the doors actually on. They ripped them off again. Not what do you one. mean? There's a door right there, and there's a, a door right there. There's, the, there's a doorway right there. All right. I'm assuming it's the same right layout right uh, in here like in the previous maps. This hey, yeah, they, they can go around. All around. No, no, no. They're going to be prepared for people coming in. They hear the explosions and the battle raging on. So they're going to prepare for anything coming in the All building. Right. Boko, I have a question for you. Sure. If we take an intermission and come back, do we replenish yeah, our fate points? Can we? 30 minute intermission? Uh, I can allow one. One fate intermission? No, no, no. One fate point for each of you if we want to do a brief intermission. It's not enough. Right. Oh, no, that's going to be yeah. enough for a bunch of them. That's a major battle. That's or, not a minor battle. Someone can sacrifice all their fate points and everyone can get theirs back after the intermission. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll never have fate points again. What if we sacrifice Domenego's last point? Oh. <laughs> oh, God. So <laughs> mean. <laughs> that would be... He's so not... Cool. Well, he's hey, not. he can re-roll re -roll himself as a uh, uh, Devastator Marine. <laughs> yeah, but he's not here to make that decision, so... Yeah. Wait, 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 He did say he might join later, so he might be around. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a question you want to see. <laughs> we can we use all your fate, fate points? points? <laughs> yeah. I specifically said, can we burn all of your fate points? Right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that makes him join. <laughs> the fuck's Ooh. going on? <laughs> I've got good news and bad news. I which just like got on, guys. <laughs> well, well, no. So Boko had us where we were basically we fought a demon prince straight off the gate with fifteen hundred health. Mm -hmm. So he didn't get a chance to attack points. anybody, though. Thankfully, yeah, he didn't. Yeah, five turns, everyone dealing damage to him before he died, and now. We've just gotten to the room with the librarians, but there are five demons. We've taken out a knight, a demon prince, and we've gotten to the location, but the only way we'll get fate points back is if we take a brief intermission and come back and you have no more fate points. Or somebody Ever. doesn't. Somebody. Okay, well, it, I volunteer as tri tribute. Do it. I mean, you don't have to. We yeah, you don't, we don't have, have to. to. We can just week. do it like yeah. next we week. Can, yeah. We can come back next week, or we can. Uh, Boko doesn't have a time limit today, so we can keep going. But we need to burn the fate points. Someone's fate points. Yep. Or get one fate point. Yeah. Get or we take an intermission and everyone comes back with one more fate point. Have you already used my fate point? No. Yes. Already yes. Yeah. No, we did. I'm We're talking about permanently I burning. Think, I think I'm point. the only one with a single fate point left. Everybody yeah. else burned all theirs. Uh, oh, yes. or use theirs. I have, I have, un, uno, which might be enough fate points to survive the encounter. Fuck off, Boko. You Two? know that's not true. That's definitely not true. <laughs> Love, I'm getting on. Well, yeah. all right.
Uh, well, you know, now that dudes come here, it's like we we're we're starting a brand new session. So yeah, really, yeah. oh my god, <laughs> really, what what it's sounding like is it's the start of a brand new session, and Tess is about to start the recording. <laughs> we all got yeah, our stuff. Do a recap all over again. Yeah, we got to do a recap <laughs> and update him with the progress. And well, the, the recap, brief recap, is you went from elevator to the building. This is essentially what you guys did. Yeah, we've literally gone two hundred. Yeah, we, we just we meters. moved a few hundred meters. You know, like every session, every session, done, yeah. every session. Right, every session is a bloody encounter. Is of um, moving one hundred meters. <laughs> Death Watch where the Imperium abridged when. <laughs> That's a lot of silent moves, guys. Don't worry yeah, about they it. They weren't silent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> clomp, 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 clomp. <laughs> There's another room full of guardian demons at the top of the elevator. About eight of them, and they didn't want to fight them. I don't blame yeah. them. Fifteen hundred so, health, sir. We couldn't do deal with that if we tried. Well, I have the multi melta. That was, that was, that was just, using yeah. the multi melta. Yeah. Oh, gosh, I, I was doing more up. damage than you yeeting things at it. <laughs> yeah. Literally, I was yeeting uh, explosives at 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 them. Yeah, they found a charge room of all those explosives for the uh, the, the melted auto cannons, and I brought a bunch. Brought about twenty five rounds. I mean, if you guys <laughs> want to get crazy, you could hand me the uh, the multi melta, and then I will double the damage on it. I like that idea. Sanctify it. Yeah. Any up. weapon I use is considered sanctified. Can you sanctify the? And I have charges? training in melta weapons. Yes. I, any weapon I use is considered a sanctified weapon. So if I you use, if you melta, hold it. If if you define the use as holding it, yeah, then I can probably fire it and hold my gun. <laughs> yeah, like theoretically, could you touch the charge and then I eat it? Uh, mm. <laughs> no, yeah, because that would be double <laughs> damage. Boko Unfor says yes. Boko says uh, yes. He's, he's I heard he yes from Boko. Unfortunately, I can bless fire weapons. However, I cannot bless melta weapons. Well, it's not a. So you have to weapon. hold it. It's ammunition. I, I would have to be using it myself to be able to consider it. Sanctified. It's not a weapon. Gotcha. It's an ammunition piece. Right. Because you're shooting it. I, I can't bless melta charges. What about melta explosions? It's it's melta. Okay, uh, what are we what doing for fate points? Let's figure this out. Oh, so what's the burning fate point for? Uh, so we all so we all replenish our, our fate our, points. Yeah, uh, fate points would be reset. But the person would be out of that fate point forever. I already sacrificed my fate points, guys. I know. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. That's yeah, why that's, we that's suggested why you. <laughs> Doesn't dude have one singular fate point to its name? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so burn that, and then we yeah, all get exactly. a fate oh. point. Because then if you die, you just come back as a devastator with, with all of your shit. Yeah, which you won't die, but you know if if somehow you if did. If you bring everything. back your weapons, yes, and your armor, sure. Yeah, we we got right. the apothecarian with us, so we'll All bring right. back your gene seed. If we have enough oh, the time. peer pressure. All right, it's it. we're we're burning it. We're okay. sacrificing it. When we're taking oh, our brief intermission. Yeah, yeah, I gotta take. A brief, I gotta talk to Mrs. She's wee wooing me or something. I'm gonna make a, a quick sandwich. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wooing you? Later. Oh boy. Do we were wee -woo. about to burn your uh, fate points? Salute you. Yeah, don't die. Oh, um, seven. So you guys are all refilled, so. Except me. What? Except no, no, it's refilled. <laughs> yours is yours goes no, from except zero him. To he zero. has yeah. no fate points left. <laughs> no, no, exactly. no. It goes why it's from zero to zero. <laughs> to zero, right? Yeah, yeah. it's permanently yeah, it's re filled. It's ref. Yeah, exactly. It's permanently refilled. It's always got fate points. <laughs> God, always at, back at a rating right. of zero. Yes. At least, at least it's not negative one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. Right. I'm going to uh, pause I'm the recording and we'll go for an intermission. Yeah, so you make a part two. Whatever time it is right now, the next. It'll be funny if Boko isn't here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Boko loses all his fate points. <laughs> <laughs> you know who I haven't heard from lately? Who? The Finnish person. I've been here. I just said it's all right. <laughs> Welcome back, Dan. All right, that's everyone, yeah? 
All right, we do not yeah. need to recap. Wait, it's the same is recording. Is he look here? Yeah, it's All right, just making sure. Yeah. I said we do not need to recap. You said we need a recap? No. Okay, what's the recap? Go. Yes. Tess said he's uh, recapping for us. We do not need a recap. I paused the recording and resumed it. I, I don't understand how that works. Can you elaborate for me with a recap? <laughs> All right, moving on. Last time <clears throat> on These Balls Z. Uh, we're about to get fucked, and everyone reset their fate points. Uh, and then Dan set his to... Or not Dan. Dude set his to zero. So I permanently re, uh, refilled my fate points. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you'll never be out. Yeah, just divide by... You'll uh, never have less fate points than that ever again. Yeah, just zero <laughs> divide by one. That's how many fate points you got. Oh, no. <laughs> No, no, no. The base, the base <laughs> bottom is negative one. I don't know what you guys are talking. Let's about. not create another <laughs> demon friend. I think it. I think it was funny how dude was talking about negative fate points. So like, how would that work? Boca would be able to invoke a you fake fate point. point against yep. you guys. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I kind of like that. Yeah, that does sound fun. Uh oh. Yeah. Gave the GM idea. Shut up, you. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, are we just jumping straight back into our last last laid plan of yeet, uh, a spicy meatball? So who wants to go negative fate points? Uh, Dan does. Mm. Oh, God, no. Yeah. What's the benefit? Uh, yeah, um, you win the encounter. <laughs> What's the negatives? <laughs> you now have negative fate points. Three of them. Okay, so Positive which encounter are we winning here? Three. That's a great question. All of them? All of them until the end of the session? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Permanent. That's what he said. Permanently? Every, every encounter ever? Yeah, every encounter it. ever. We win the game. The game's over. Done. It might have been the voices in my head talking, but I'm pretty sure I heard him say it. Yes, this God! No, this encounter, you win this encounter. But you'll permanently have negative three fate points. Yeah, how does that work? What is, sure. what is having negative no, fate no, points? No, go time? ahead. You can do it. I believe in you. So You want me to go from positive three, or sorry, positive four to negative three? Yeah. yeah. So th how that works, it, you just heard of them. I would be able to use a fate point myself on an encounter against you. So a roll that was bad for a monster, now it's good. Or possibly good. <laughs> I don't like this idea at all. Uh, there are actually uh, monsters in the book which have the fate dash ability trait, to which allows them already. to use fate points. Of course. Well, this okay. would be for anything I desire, not just monsters. So, how about we give oh. it to uh, one of the NPC Space Marines? The idiot marine. Yeah, what about the idiot guardsmen? <laughs> The you card is negative fate points. Oh no! All right, I can eat this so there. Yeah, let's just do that as a trial run. Just the idiot marines uh, have the negative fate points. Let's well, let's not. All the, the marines. Let's not and the the say we fate. didn't. All the marines are dead. So yeah, for, uh, definitely they have negative fate points now. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, All oh, the, the marines and the guardsmen. The guardsmen. the guardsmen. Yeah. You already lost one space marine. I am specifically telling the trainee and the lieutenant to watch the fucking door. This door. They're watching it and they're seeing that stumbling thing outside and the bombardment's going off. I'm also... Speaking of which... Uh, 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 Eric Lady's pick for me. Uh, guardsman or the trainee? The trainee. Don't lose this. It's an orbital vox caster. Oh, no. Or, well, no, because I'm presuming this thing's going to interfere with signals, so I want someone close to the door. I'm using him as a, a, a retrans site. So when anything comes in, the Vox caster's right there. He hits, he can hear it, and then he can just shoot the signal inside the building. So you want good news, bad news in the next, next airstrike? You used the fate point. Well, no, I'm just asking. God damn it. <laughs> And what hey, are you asking? No, no, no. We marked this as a do not hit location. They're not going to hit it. Okay. 
They're going to hit everything else. What did they hit? Oh, they didn't hit. They crashed, didn't they? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Gee, they, 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 they would happen now. Stop giving him ideas. Stop giving him ideas. They didn't hit it with the bombs. They just rammed it. <laughs> Which would mean the bombs would explode. Well, effigies, effigies down. Where are you having the bomb run at this point? Oh, no, I marked. Uh, so you can look and see my last thing. I indicated the last night as the priority target. I right. indicated the bunker we're in as a priority no hit location. Friendly forces on site. All right. The good news or bad news? Uh, the bad news. news is Lucian Verax is dead. Just give us the good news. Okay, good news. They they killed the other night. Uh huh. Bad news is that bomb landed. You know the elevator shafts at. Poof. Gonzo. I don't know if you're heading back that way. And the squad. As far as I remember, no. Yeah, the squadron's dead. So you said no, we had what? three squadrons coming in. So yep. the second squadron's dead. Yeah, completely wiped out. Okay. Well, we can call off the third airstrike, unless you want them retasked for something. Eric, ladies. Uh, we have no other priority targets. Bomb the frigates. Bomb the frigates? Bomb the frigates. Hang on. Are these... Were these bombers set up for air ground, or are they set up for just target general? Targets in general, so they could they could hit the target. I mean, it's a big ship. They can they can drop bombs on it. That frigate is. It's been what twenty minutes. So pretty close. You said the frigates would be here in an hour. Yep. Six. So they're uh, forty six, mics six, out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because we'll need the airspace covered. That's what you there's, want them hitting. There's Everybody's... three of them. There's three of them. They can engage one. I don't you. know how much it's going to do to stop them. I mean, the cru it's a cruiser versus a frigate. Well, the cruiser is up in the, up uh, up, you know, hiding, and you have yeah. Well, I was I, I was thinking when the cruiser comes out of hiding, and oh, we yeah. get on the Thunderhawk to go fly up there. Yep. Because right now we have. A hundred minutes. Yep. So for this battle, we have a hundred minutes to then teleport the fuck out of here to the drop ship and go. And by the way, Yo Mug, your connection to the warp is uh, nearly reestablished. You're gonna yes. take a nearly. You're gonna take a minus thirty in all your rolls. Oh, okay. That's fine. Is not being boosted or amplified by the central one, but there's still uh, two in the, here. Two that are in here, which yeah. will destroy as we go. Which, from the markers, there was one of them, like what here? They're on the roof. All of them are on, on the ceilings. Why the fuck didn't we destroy that one as we came in? You can. Can I retroactively destroy the one on the side of the roof closest to us? Sure, it's destroyed. Still minus 30 to the Elmug, though, because the other one. <laughs> but I'm it's sorry. the one less to have to deal with. Yeah, that means yeah. when we come out, there's just one, or we just have to run a little bit to the north. Yep. Because there's nothing up there. Cool. You, you, guard this. You redirect those fighters, fighters and bombers to hit those frigates coming in. Keep us updated. Send the Voxes to Ericlides. I'll probably be beating the shit out of stuff. That is, that's, that's to this goofball. Okay. Uh, which you're doing your surprise round. Yeah. Or we can do turn orders because either way you're still going to be, you're like second in the line. Yeah. I was going to heat a, a, a spicy football down here at uh, the speed of the emperor. Do you want to hold your action moss so you can shoot it? I yep. guess. Okay. So then it's Crom's turn. Well, I would have moved to here just to get them within range, and there's a 9.1 for eating a spicy football okay. with a 10-meter radius. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And Moth, you're shooting? 
Yep. You're kicking a field goal. So that would take out these two, and then the turret on the shield can hopefully engage that third one. So there you go. There's your... How do I make this linger? Go ahead, fire them off. Like minus 20, but... There's a button which says linger in the measurement. There it is. And, and they're the super tad. They are super tad. And then here is the other part of that. Uh, not the not the throwing. That. Okay. Well, the two are dead. They got him. That's for the third guy. What did he get? What did you hit him? Oh, the the machine gun. Yeah. So. Uh, pen five eight. It does nothing. Is that what nine? I think they have twenty armor in the chest. So, I think he took. One, that's three, so four, it's four damage. Ow, where was that? 41, that's oh. center chest? Yeah, he has 20 armor in the chest. Was a, what the fuck, what number am I looking at here? You're looking at the... The tail end where it says fourteen, and you would flip okay, that. Okay, so that's forty-one. That'd be chest, I believe. Mm -hmm. Survey says. Yeah, and they yeah, all have chest. twenty. Yep, they all have twenty armor, so it's four got four damage got through. Cool. Dominus, go. I don't see anything over here. <clears throat> you can blind fire into that direction, generally, or you can move up to see. Oh, there's something there. Is there? Oh, there yes. Go. There that absolutely circle, is. That circle wasn't obscuring everything. Sorry, that was the blast radius. Uh, I mean, what is your character's... Hold on, let me look at your sight range. No, he has... But he you has can't series. see that part. Oh, okay, now I see something there. Okay, yeah. let's say it's only like 100 meters from wherever this person is. Oh, I just moved the shared vision wizard up. Now I can see where he is. Yeah, shared vision with the dudes up here, and we've all got the linked things. Uh, could you, by chance, move the lieutenant to right here? Just because I'm paranoid. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I wanted him in nice cover. You don't want to get, second. You don't wanna get you flanked? Tell me what happens if yeah, I do this. Yeah, no, they're watching our flank, and they're watching our rear. Oh, nothing happens. Never mind. All right. <laughs> Can't you move? So that's a hundred. Well, I kind of want to fire right at, at this dude. Lower his armor for you guys. Can you not do a half move and then fire? Well, my half move is eight meters, and I will lose my uh, accuracy. Oh, very well. So that's eight meters. I, it's still going to be right over. Uh, there's no point in moving eight meters. Okay. So, well, I mean, there will be. Nice it's things. a little bit more than my uh, melta range. My melta range is 100, and this is 112 ish. What's the uh, what's the penalty for that? Hmm. I was asking the same thing. You were. I think that's minus a... 10 per range bracket over your. Yep. Yeah. Range. Minus 20. Yeah, minus I think it's 20? um. No, it's minus 10. It's minus 10. Okay. Minus range bracket. Okay. Cool. So he's chaos. I have RDS and motion protector, so it'll be plus twenty total. So plus, oh. This guy's he's you look at me, he's a devastator as well. Same with those other two that you just killed. Or actually yeah, they look like devastators to you. Yeah. So you don't want him to live. Well, <clears throat> I hit and dug quite a bit of damage. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, that goes right through his armor and deals more than enough damage to kill him on the second shot, at least. <laughs> first shot, 15 armor, so he had five left. Yeah, he's dead the first shot, actually. Oh, the second shot just scorched the wall. Yeah, I just <laughs> center made sure he was super dead. 
Eric Clayton. First shot killed him. Second shot made him a donut. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I remember there are living things we need in the center room. So watch your shots. Okay. I only saw two in there, and we're looking for three people. Oh, you're looking for two. All right. There were, there were three that were alive. There was two. There's two. One was murdered. No. Oh, oh, Spencer! That one was murdered. Spencer was murdered? No! Uh, my dog. My stupid dog. Spencer, oh, he Spencer. had so much to live for. Uh, I did a full move, and that's my turn. I have, like, Scooby Snacks. Turn off, right. go. <laughs> I'm going to move in front of the Psyker. And that's going to be my, my, my turn. Virlo, go. I am going to move up to this wall for cover, and that's my turn. You're just out of range. I don't like the looks of that, sir. Well, I mean, it's... I, he really likes that wall. Damn. Oh. Unarmed attack, page 245. Um. They're almost done. Okay. Rosora, go. I am going to delay my turn until they're in range. Very well. Uh, do Wrong. so. I have two options I can do. There's a thing called thunder charge, so I could charge in and get in melee, or I can throw a. I can throw an explosive. Your call. Ah. Either's fine. The explosive will probably hurt both of them. Okay. Well, Thunder Charge, the way it works is anything I impact uh, uh, is basically an unarmed attack against them to represent me charging. Then I do the rest of the charge. You want me to do the... Uh... Yeah. Where, is it? Where the fuck is it? There it is. You want to fate point that or let what, what's going to be done be done? I half feel like it would be me running in, beating the shit out of them. Well, you don't know. We'll I find know. out. We will fate point it. The and, then we, passes. and then we're going to throw a spicy meatball. Let me I think I'd update my account of spicy meatballs. All right, Prasora, choose left or right? Mm, left. Okay, uh, that is one spicy meatball. I'm aiming directly for his head. So the other guy would also be injured. Uh, you've been rolling the damage on that. I'll let you do that. Uh, 
Oh, the grenade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing... Boop. Oh. And... Turret attack. That's 10, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it's 10. Give me the damage total. I'll apply it. Yep. Stand by. Pulling up Kakuma later. I've gotten better at my hot maths, but I'm not that good. Huh. Uh, first set of five is 21 damage. Hundred and sixty tree. Still up, but looks really pissed off at you. Okay. I didn't do anything to it. Yeah. That was all in one, right? Which one did you target? The one on the left? Yeah. Yeah. He's pretty pissed off. And he's starting to already dematerialize like the other one. Very well. All right, Dominicus, go. Real quick, Basora, are you on my left or right shoulder right now? The one that doesn't have the turret on it or the <laughs> shield. Got it. You're in my left, my left arm. Um. All righty. I fire another Melta at the knight on the bottom. We need them alive or dead or alive, these two uh, dead. entities. Dead. Yeah, Every, uh, yeah. Out, outside in this room, everything that's out here can die. Okay. Then, uh, your wish is my command. I believe... Hold and that's on the different. bottom one. Left one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minus 28. And, oh, it's dead. You just... That last 33, if it was 32, wouldn't kill it. It dematerializes. Oh, like like I was one point yeah, away? It, yeah, one point away from not not killing it outright. I was like, Damn. I don't know. It was like, it's pretty close. But you had 31 or 61. Yeah. So it dematerialized. Boop, gone. I might have forgotten something. Uh, Ericlades, you also have four plasma grenades. And Ericlades, it's your go. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, when I gave you all those grenades, I forgot there's, there was also four of those on there. Cool. Well, I'm not going to use those right now. Instead, I'm going to use the uh, the gnashing maws of my mighty might. At your minus 30? Minus, minus 30. Yep. So minus 10, all in all. Will power, uh, fate point. Go. Don't. Then we don't need it. We can't burn through all of them now. Thank mm. God. Hey. Okay. Eins, zwei, drei. Okay, three more coming up. Oh. You're hoping for a one-hit KO. It would have been great, but I mean, at least it's going to happen twice in that area. Okay. Karnoff, go. Uh, so will the guy die no. by its, by its your turn? Character, your no. character does not know. No, all right. You have no idea. It looks pretty healthy compared to the other one that just deems Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. I still have another action. Oh, okay. It's going to be a minus 10, but I'm going to possibility shield. Okay, yeah. And I succeed. So everyone within 80 meters of me. I see. Uh, we'll have um, possibility shield. That's on our side, not them. So were they approaching us, uh, the demons, or were they just like yeah, uh, taking they ran out the, in they, Okay. They ran Defensive out the door. Stance. Yeah, they Defensive ran out the door. In my turn. Yeah, 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 they ran out the door to engage you guys. Virlo, go. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot at Mr. Demon guy here. Alright, firing in full auto, it's what, plus 30 total, plus 40 total? Something like that. 
say plus 30. Hey, here we go. And... There you go. Hold up, and then... Okay, still up. It is now its turn. So, ruler out. Because it's kind of pissed off. But You're talking roll. about I did absolutely nothing to it. No, no, Carnot did no nothing to it. So I was making a decision now. So I'm so uh, below fifty, it's going to attack Carnot, and the above that is going to attack you. It's going to buy. It's literally going to run around him and attack you. All right, it's attacking you. I'm going to parry. Which it's is... going to have to make a willpower save. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have the thing up still? Yep. Okay. Oh, this thing's about to go flying, isn't it? So it will, so it will go 15 meters away from the circle, from the circumference of the circle, or it will Ooh. go to the edge it, of the circle? I'm still... Get two shits about what you're doing. I'm still making a... You want to fate roll it, though? Well, I nah. can make a I can make a uh, parry, and then it's okay. engaged in combat with me. Okay, did ahead, you fate parry. roll it? No, he didn't fate roll. Okay, so it's it it got to you. There's my parry. Uh, I get a free attack on a parry. Because I have counterattack. A good thing, because it would have hit you for that much. Would that have killed no, you? It's not allowed. All right. <laughs> do your damage? Or, I mean, do I, your attack? Yeah. So, one second. And. Okay, I don't have to. I don't have to uh, take a penalty for the location. That's what I was looking up. That does hit. Yes. Meets beats, or does it have to roll again? You have to. You just have to succeed. Okay. You don't have the meter beat. Just succeed. And that's his head. Mostly hit. It does hurt him. It does, get pretty deep. it does hurt a little bit. Okay, so, and then let's... It dings his head. It dings his head. They are going to make a beeline to you. If that's a righteous up. fury, you can roll again. Oh! I just attack again? Yeah. Still up. Ninety-three damage to his head. Yep, it's definitely demeteralizing. Ugh. All right, Karnoth, are you prepared for combat? I am. Uh, they have felling four on the chain sword. Uh, they also have felling four on the other weapon, but I, I always forget the stupid abilities. But they got that attack, and then the other guy. How many times will they attack? Uh, they have, hold up, they have an ability. They gain a sec second full action per turn, but only for melee. So it's going to be two attacks per guy. So. Yeah, because they have uh, blinding speed. So I'll just do the, I'll just do other attacks then. So there's that one. All right, so I'm going to do this. There's that one. And there's that. No, oh, did that. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's one. That's two. That's all. That's, that's all four. Three. Oh, and. How many counter attacks do you have? Jesus. And a dodge. Let's say he's got uh, three, I think. I dodged. From, from that, three. and then it's dodge. So, 
the three attacks that I blocked, I can counter parry, counter attack. Um, yeah, they're probably dead now. Be... <laughs> Hit one, hit two, and hit three. So this the damage. first is going to be doing uh, how much armor do they have on their twenty um... on the jets? It's twenty all round. Twenty all right. Yeah. So that's the yeah. first hit. That's what's the Dead. amount of damage that they actually... Yep, yeah, okay. I only have 20 HP, so... Um, and that's my second hit. He's dead. You literally just got in an epic fight for your life and killed both of them. So you want to describe how you killed them? It's more, they just... Uh, they they thought they had the advantage by ganging up on me and uh, flurrying their attacks, uh, but Karnov kept his cool and positioned his, like, uh, maneuvered around their weapons and struck them when uh, they weren't paying, like, that he outsmarted, like, right. he, he was faster than them and as he won and prevailed. Yep. I'm just thinking, like, Jedi here. <laughs> this tiger guy moved. But with chain swords. <laughs> All right, Brasora, go. Real quick, real quick. I'm doing that in character. I'm using siege tactics. Do you have to roll for siege tactics? It's dead. Krom just, it's a thing that Krom just says. Got it. The more we do this, base, base, uh, Krom just know, is learning more and more like where they're coming and how they're coming for a siege. So I, he's just going to be highlighting Wait, shit. Did I get skipped? Oh. Oh, oh, never mind. You're, you're at the bottom, bottom. No, I thought because Krom was attacking, then I realized that he was just defending. No, that was all on the demon's turn, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Krom, go. That was all counterattacks. <laughs> yeah, it was all counterattacks. All right. Uh, I am going to go off of with my siege. Uh, no, that's not what I want. I'm going to go off of Siege Tactics and set up a defensive line here with Dan. Lieutenant Dan! Mm -hmm. I think we need to go in further because they will be trickling in. It will take time for them to trickle in, so we can go a little bit further. I will join you if you can move. Yeah, I was going to move Yeah, up. we'll move the defensive line up to here. If you're good with that. So, maybe even closer, but maybe. Well, I was thinking, because I'm going to be heating explosives. And we mm -hmm. know that there's three more demons. Because if we're any closer than this, the demons can get to us. In one turn. But at the same time, this is a choke point. They can't, you know, if, uh, if we position ourselves so that we block the entryway, they won't be able to uh, use their advantage in numbers. We'll go to here. But you do see that these two are devastators and they're guarding this hallway. Uh, FYI. We have two defensive line Bs. It's yep. color coded. There we go. That'll be my my turn. Color coded for your convenience. Yep. I've uh, set out some tactical information from Siege Tactics. And I am bracing my shield. Actually, actually, hold on. How far is this? Cool. 33 meters.
I am not to explode. I'm throwing a uh, melta canister right here. And that would be my turn. That's Wait, okay. Right here. Parker, yeah, just uh, draw a circle where you're going to put the melta. We are pre placing something. That's too big. Uh, I can't move it, but. Trying to put it in the fucking doorway. There we go. There you go. Pre-placed explosive charge. That's my turn. Dominagus, go. A full move. That's it. Next. Please go. All right. I sustain and move. All right. My turn is over. I move. My turn is over. Okay. Karnoth, go. Yep, I moved. My turn okay. is over. Okay. Uh, Relo, go. All right. Uh, I will also be moving up to line B, and that's my turn. Why did I lose sight for back there? No, oh, I don't have don't sight with the, other, the nope. other dudes. Should give... Probably can give you shared vision. Where's that... Where's that bird at? I'll give you... Give you another one to act as the shared vision, because he be transmitting his stuff to you. Get the shit. Can't, oh, oops. And they are holding the position. Now they are sending gorillas at us. <laughs> Space gorillas. <laughs> No, war, uh, corn beast, but yeah. Space gorillas. Space gorillas. <laughs> Understood. They do look like space gorillas, like astronaut gorillas. There yeah, you go. That's what I was thinking. That's where I was like, what the fuck is that? Because I just saw this astronaut gorilla, and I was like, I don't think that's what it is, but, uh. All right, Bersora, go. Ooh, let's see how tough they are. I am so sorry. That was not what I was trying to do. They will be classified as demons, too, so. Nice. Which one are you shooting? Uh, Top one. 
minus my three. Carry the four. Yeah. Okay. It's still up. Oof. Two, Can four. we get another uh, wizard? Yes. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I can barely, I can barely see this area. Like, I can what? see there's one monster. Well, the That's wizard, it. the wizard for shared vision. The the actual bird wizard here. I'll I'll tag it. But his bird can move. Yeah. So. Oh, I okay, mean, now I see two. I didn't mean to kill it. So. Now it's dead. Now it's unconscious. <laughs> our vil <laughs> Someone killed our vision. No. Yeah, um... It's just sitting on a bomb. <laughs> no, it dropped the bomb. No, no, no. I oh, it didn't move on to right another there. bomb. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. There's a bomb right here where the shared vision wizard is. Here, now no. it's a nuke. <laughs> there. That one's the owl. So that's the owl boy, the one with the little explosion. And the other one is just the vision for the the trainee. So that's that's his shared vision. So Oh beautiful. Okay. That's all it represents. Thank one's you. an actual one's an actual thing, the other one's so if you can't see it, you literally can't see it. Thank you. Yep. But the bird can move on your turn if yeah, if you ask Yelmug and the bird will just move. How far it can move. What's the speed of that thing, Yelmug? I don't know. Fast. <laughs> as fast as it needs to be. Whatever a cyber, a cyber eagle's speed is. 100 meters. I don't know. Sure. There you go. Fast. And I figured nothing's going to really care about that. So it's whatever to them. And so I get the idea to shoot it down. <clears throat> If they're corn guys, they're not going to have that idea. Nope. I doubt uh, they have any. Crom, go. Other than uh, pound you in the ground. If why, I can't hit why. Hit anything else. <clears throat> oh, that's the wrong button. Okay, there we go. Thirty-four. Top okay. one. Well, I mean, it's a turret, so. Yep. Let me load the web page real quick. I managed to break the web page. And I'm back. Uh, that is also, I think, well, how, uh, how did it look like that, uh, messed up that guy up there? No. Shrugged it off. Shrugged it off. Cool. Uh, Damn, that was a lot of damage, too. Mm -hmm. Well, you want to see even more damage? At the speed of mock Jesus. <laughs> Death, I choose you. Go. Oh, tell me what that roll was. Eleven. Okay. There you go. Oh my jeez. <laughs> give, give you two for that. That eleven. Uh, that's a ten meter explode. Uh, hold up. I'll make this guy slightly bigger so you can see the difference on him. I guess. So that is sixty-four, and then minus seventy. Does that hurt him? He shrugged it off. What the shit? Are you saying my saying my melta won't work on this one either? No, if it's hurting him, obviously you see like frayed bits and whatnot. But I'd also he, probably tell those two goofballs to pull back to line B because they're going to be on line C in like three seconds. Right, this one looks bigger than the rest of them. Oh, so we might be in good. Is that your turn? Yeah, that's all I can do. Okay. Other than transmit to the two goofballs at uh, C to pull up to B. 
Yeah, Dominagus, go. What was I doing? Oh, that's what I was doing. Ugh. It does look very frazzled for all the shit you did to him, though. I fucking hope so. Yeah, looks very frazzled. But still, he's also, he's also pretty big good too, right? Extremely it's big. Because they're huge. Yeah. So that's like what plus ten because he's huge. Yep. Yep. All right, that was B plus thirty. He's not chaos. He I'm is sorry. chaos. Oh yes. The chaos. Beautiful beast. plus forty. Yeah, it's a demon chaos beast. Soon to be dead. If we can shell out the damage, yes. It's required by law. Everybody says. Oh, it's still up. Uh -huh. But does he have any armor left? Fifty-two. I mean, it had no armor to begin with. You don't see any visible armor. So, so no, no, it doesn't have any armor. You did it's, good. Yeah, it's just it's just. Yeah, you, you got rid of all of its armor. I'm proud of you, man. But it had no armor to begin with. No, his his fur is armor. I guess yeah, 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 really. <laughs> yeah, so it has no armor. Eric, ladies, go. Sweet, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some psychic shit down there. <laughs> I think we need everything. Which one are you targeting? The big boy? Uh, centering it here, so it hits okay. both of them. And it's not a double, so no table roll. Hey, look at that! I can attack again. Twice, right? Twice more, or just once more? No, it's just it's just once. Any okay. ten in the damage roll is one additional. So, minus forty nine. Hey, that hits. Oop. Okay, that's all. But and this then... will happen again on their turn. Yep. So forty and fifty. So uh, that's ninety. So eighty-eight okay. damage again to them on their next turn. Yeah, we see them trying to punch at the sharks or whatever, just trying to fend them off. Doesn't like it. <laughs> it snarls at you. I will be right back. All right, Karnoff, go. Uh, seeing their incredible resilience, I would probably Kar Karnoff would order the trainee to fall back, as he would do nothing to them to stop them. Uh, and he would just again enter defensive stance. Also, we should probably. And he speaks that to everyone uh, going into that room for that uh, entrance is suicide since they are holding that position. So we are forced to go from another angle or make an angle with explosives, I think. whatever the option is. I think eventually I'll, I'll just draw it out as if the machine spirit in my head is doing it. End my turn. I enter a defensive stance. Beer low, go. All right. Um, and the trainings will move before these guys. I, I need to put my the actual board, I guess. But I'll make them move before these guys. I'm going to move up to this wall and get ready to shoot at the space monkeys. <laughs> okay. They're space gorillas, sir. And the lieutenant and the other guy are going to fall back to here. And it is now the Space Monkey's turn. Um, in fact, let me do a roll and see who they're going to attack. So I'm going to roll 1d3. 1, it's going to be you, Virlo. 2, it's going to be the lieutenant. And 3, it's going to be the trainee. All right, ready? No. Nope. <laughs> it's going to be me. It's in a... Yep. Uh, All right. Yep. If they can reach you, they're gonna get to you. So they can move sixty or seventy. They can't so quite get can't to me. Can't quite do it, but they're going to try. Do space gorillas have armor? No, we've already established. No. Oh, okay. So, so the Malta doesn't really have a secondary effect. No. Are 
Are they in range? Sorry, go. No. No, they're not. Otherwise, I'd have been hitting you already. All right. With your big fists. Okay, the range at which uh, a scythe bonded creature can move or be influenced is equal to his willpower bonus in kilometers. Sorry, I've been looking this up this entire time. And it does not have a... Actually, no, wait. That might be the range. No, no, no I'm like, looking like up from the me. whole sheet. Uh, skills, it's got... It's got an awareness plus 20. Yeah. Oh. It's got dark sight flyer 12. I'm back. What a mess. Where's Dan at? Where'd he go? Dan uh, disconnected. Probably Discord crash or something. Probably. Wow. So, Prasor, it's your turn, by the way. All right. Uh, 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 why? Should I continue firing on the big guy or shoot at the small guys behind us? Mm. There's a good chance I might charge into them at the end of, at, as soon as you're done. Is the big, big boy um, hurting? You don't know. I don't want to charge that. So it's either I turn and burn. I would say shoot the big guy because I'm going to charge backwards. Alrighty. I fully intend on slamming into them. Welcome back. So that yeah, deals. I'm trying to win down for a moment, sorry. So that deals double damage. So I'm going to just say minus 38, minus 46. Or is that 56? 56. Yeah, you're starting to see the uh, big gorilla de dematerialize a little bit. From those blasts you did in his chest, or was that chest? 62's chest, yep. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Alright, uh, Krom, go. Alright, I'm using, I'm doing something I've actually not done before, but I've been wanting to for a while. It's called Thunder Charge. Go for it. Okay. I'm just, I've just uh, pasted it in there, but basically I get an unarmed attack against everything I'm about to crash into, which I'm going to crash into two creatures. And Moth, do a strength check as he does this, to slam against a creature. Moth, don't die. And don't fall right. off. If Moth falls off, we'll figure it out later. Right now, right. it's... Uh, I can, so, I'm can. i slamming into both of these I'm creatures. Very 69, much nice. Just... Do you need a fate point for that, Moth? Fate point. He's just going to fall off. He ain't going to yeah, die. I'm mean... using jetpack to stabilize myself. Oh, We're not yeah, stealthy no, no, no. anymore. You're fine. Yeah, Moth, good idea. Actually, get the fuck off. So, the way this works is I make uh, an unarmed attack against every opponent I'm charging, which in this case, it's two. That represents me slamming into them. Uh, and it has the ability to knock the opponent down as if I'd used the knockdown ability on page 241. Uh, so first, I'm just going to make two unarmed attacks. You're and that's knock just... both of them down? Is that what you're trying to do? No, no, no. Re read Thunder Charge. It's in there. I, I just put it in. That's It's a whole ability. It includes everything. Okay. Uh, where the... F Sorry. If I can click the right page to go to my weapons would be great because somewhere in here i have unarmed and it's i'm not it's not a challenged like uh, unarmed attack it's just they get unarmed attacked uh do you want me to roll two of them or just one of them Ooh. there you go so one takes 54 one takes 51 damage from being slammed into and then there is the chance that it gets knocked down. I have to oppose strength rolls. Four being knocked down. 
Yeah, you roll your strength roll, they roll their own strength rolls. Okay, so if they fail, they get knocked down. And do you still have your possibility shield up? Yes. One. So one's knocked down. And they're both knocked down. Uh, so since you succeeded by two or more um, degrees of success, they suffer additional 1d5 minus three plus strength bonus. So, hang on. They have a strength bonus two. Do they have armor points? Like, like um, Just their toughness. So I'm rolling uh, a 1d5. Armor points count as double for the if purpose of this damage. They have no armor, but... Oh, like the toughness, whatever they have. Two. So yeah, so they're going to have four armor like toughness points against uh, this damage. So what am I rolling? You said I'm putting something in? 1d5. Yep. Minus three. Yep. Plus your strength bonus. Stand by. Well, very neg negligible damage, but at least it's something, right? Well, he's a space marine, so that uh, strength bonus is going to be a little significant. Uh, that's true, I guess. So minus eight. There you go. I'll do minus eight on both of them. Uh, you literally just manhandled these monkeys. Yeah, I did. And I still have to make the actual charge attack. It's not a horde. If it was a horde, I'd also do a D5 plus one. I want to throw hordes at you guys eventually at some point again. All right, so now, because I've hit them, uh, I was specifically aiming for this one that's closer to Goofball, but that is what it is. And if this hits, it's going for his head. Uh, what's the bonus for them being prone? Is it just plus 10? Yeah. And that's his head. Okay. Ow. <laughs> closest one to you? Uh, that's this one up top that was closest to whoever this is up here. Okay, I'll just do on both of them. I'll say you got strength in both. 43 on both of them. There you go. Damn, yeah, I... They look Prom annoyed. Does not like, did not like that. Yeah, they look very annoyed. That's good. Dominic, go. Dominagus, dude. Yep. <laughs> Here you go, bro. Alrighty. So this big guy over here is finally starting to uh, change Wayne? a little bit. Yeah, you see him starting to fade a little bit here and there. He looks a lot more injured than when you first engaged him. All right. Do you guys think I sh You guys Guys got the guy, uh, the gorillas on the right, right? I'm engaging you. Yeah. All right, then I'll focus the front then. Okay, because it's gonna be the same as before. Uh, where was it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Nope, that's not the buttons. Twelve degrees of success. God damn. I know. 32. Jeez, where was this earlier? So I'll give you double damage on the first one. So I'll minus another thirty-two. Because you got twelve degrees of success. So minus forty-two. Still up. Looks still up. Hurt. Still up. Looks friggin' hurt. <laughs> And it's about oh. to take more damage on when it's their turn again, right, uh, Moth? Probably, yeah. Yeah, because he did that sharks thing. Oh, oh yeah, the sharks 96. are still up there in that area. Yes, they are. Eric, ladies, go. Sweet. These, these monkeys are still up, huh? By monkeys, I mean dogs. Whatever they are. <laughs> Space gorillas. Space gorillas. Space has orcs, gorillas. Orcs in the skies. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're still up. Cool. So I'm going to sustain and then throw some more jaws down that way. Okay. 
I will spend a fate point. Oh my god. All right. Well, I guess that failed. Cool. I didn't have my fate point. All right. I mean, keep in mind, we've also hey. got three Succeeded. demons to deal with, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but these guys are more of a pain than space marines, I think. Chaos? Demons? Yeah, chaos uh, demons. I, you said space marines. Yeah, are more of a pain than space marines. I didn't say space marines. I said demons. There's three of them. Yeah, the, there's also two demons right here. <laughs> They're just in dog form. Oh. Or monkey form. Okay, well, I hit. Yes, you oh, did. Oh, I, I deal for nine damage, and then I can do it again. Yep. Which hits. And I can do it again. Oh, my God, it might get in there. All right, that one failed, but they'll take 100 damage twice. 100 oh. damage now, and then 100 damage again at the beginning of the turn. And plus the 100 from last turn. Yeah. About to take. So, yeah, it's still up. Well, the 88 from last turn. Yeah, it's still up barely. You see, the you can sense it's losing its connection to the Materium. Uh, well, keep firing. It's, it's going to be dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep firing. It's probably going to be dead soon. Uh, Karnoth, go. Defensive stance. Mind my turn. Okay. Uh, Vierlo, go. All right. Um, I'm going to attack one of these monkey men <laughs> with my lightning claw. So it's a modifier on the two hit roll. I didn't know you had a lightning claw. Yes, I've had a lightning claw this whole time. Huh. Interesting. It's my. It's part of my signature gear. Zero. Flat. All right. Oh my fuck! I'm fate pointing that. <laughs> You're gonna get counterattack. Oh, actually, on the ground. I can't do nothing. Yeah, see, it's on the. It's it's on the ground, and I'm standing over top. I'm well. fate pointing that shit. Well, if it's on yeah. the ground. Shouldn't you get a bonus? Yeah, plus ten. What? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you should have. You, you, you still would have. You still would have failed. Yeah, you would have failed, but it's not like I can do anything against you, anyways. Ayo. Nice. Max damage. Yeah, they charged you when out of nowhere. I just came. Still you up. Clapped them. Is that not a righteous fury? <laughs> okay, so, oh, is it a righteous it fury? Yeah, it does. Oh, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Oh my god! Oh my god another one. Do I get another righteous fury? Yes. Yes. You keep going till you burn out. You have right. to attack each time. Oh, oh yeah, I have to, to do hit. two hit rolls. Sound auto yeah. confirm. You have to. You have to actually. They're not aliens. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay. So I'm just gonna do. Make an attack roll real quick. See if it if it hits, then you would have gotten the, the same one. as before. Uh huh. Right, that, that was the first game. one, and another attack roll. Okay. 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 The well, third one does not hit. Sixty yeah. damage. So it's th their turn. It does how much damage? Ninety. 98 damage? No, no, no. 60. No, no, I no, you're just damage. Yeah, 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 I'm saying the sharks. Oh, ah, right. Yeah, I already applied your damage. So the sharks, the big one goes away, and the other ones disappear as well. As soon as the big one is killed. Oh. <laughs> you killed the alpha. Anyways. Oh, is that how that works? That's that one, yep. You killed the head vampire and the rest of them die. Well, good thing I was focusing on them, eh? Hey, what are you, Canadian? I figured me hey. scaling, scaling him up and making him really, really tough would have given the clue, hey, this is the alpha boy of the monkey pack. <laughs> they were smart, and we're just keeping Tess from dying. Okay, and let me move everyone else. Oh boy. Yep, and these guys are going to take positions.
the charge is still there, right? That charge is still direct. They're standing directly on top of it. All of them. Yep. That yeah, would hit everyone in that circle. And they're unaware of your charges. So. So, hey, Priscilla. <laughs> Sorry, go. There's a charge there? right there in the middle. All right. Is the raven in there? Or is that just a, a thing? Oh, uh, it it can move. Yeah. So, Brasora can move it if he wanted to. Where do you want to? Just, yeah, just move it out of the way. There you go. And then I shoot the charge. How many charges? How many charges you put down? Yes. <laughs> oh God, was that twenty then? You put all of them down? No, I threw two. Okay, two. That's... <laughs> Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I did not put 20 charges. I'd be a little excessive. Holy God, Christ in heaven. I mean, Emperor. <laughs> Three, Enough to kill anything that came out the fucking doorway. Three, and then... That is some serious damage. Holy fuck. And I've got... Hang on. Let me make sure I, I count this right. I have... Okay. The Marines are dead. Uh, the chaos things are hurt. I got 21 more more of those. Is is that going to be enough? Possibly. Prom, go. Oh, cool. Anyways, I'm going to move the, over and then yeet another charge. Oh, yeah, I'm going to move over here, by the way. I'm close enough that if you had tried to climb back on, you could. So, 10 meters from those guys you're eating the charge at. Ain't gonna hurt anyone, right? Yeah. I mean... Oh, no, you're fine. You're good. You're good. Yeah. It's just gonna hit all of them. Got it. Uh, center down Basura. Uh, how far is that? Yeah, I'm gonna put it, like, right here, right in the middle. Okay. Uh, at the strength of the Emperor... By the way, before you do any of that, uh, we'll, we'll save. Have. Yes, minus 60. No matter, he passed. Cool. Okay, so that's a 9.2. Uh, that one, uh, yeah. About this. <laughs> I, am, I am yeeting that with all of my strength. And where the f- Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Uh. So that's just what one hit. On whichever one the turret decides to shoot at. Okay. Did it damage. And that is all I can do. Dominagus go. Did the clip. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should throw a crack grenade in that area. Well, are that's these guys cool. armored? That's the question. Nope. Nope. So you'd probably do more damage with the frag. Or kill them. Light kill them up. Death. Yeah, I could just Light. shoot them. Light them up. Does that weapon have pen? Like over pen? Multimodal? Yeah. Because you'd hit. There's potentially you could hit, what, two or three of them. At least two of them. Raw, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it has pen or not. I don't think they do. They'd have to melt through. Okay. So they're half range, and they seem huge. Am I understanding that correctly? Yes. Two of them look huge. Is that third are... one smaller? No, they're all huge. They're all the same oh, size. Okay. okay. So... I don't know why that's optical illusion, but they're all the same size. So they're half range, so base 30, half range, so 40. And they're huge, so that's 50, or plus 10, for being huge. Yeah. When you're targeting, first one? The closest one, yeah. 
Okay, so mine is 27. Okay. Eric, please go. Oh, not even hit, like hurt. Uh, drugged off well, what you did. Yeah, they, they won't show pain, but they did take damage. Yes. Yeah, they'll yeah, start looking damage. like they're take, like they're dematerializing. Yeah. yeah, right. yeah. Well, uh, sustain and sharky shark time. <laughs> Got Hopefully it. you can wipe them out one round, get a bunch of uh Rex nope. Furies. Nope. So yeah, if so, you could do um, that, that'd be nice. Yeah, he's done unless, it before. Unless I spend a fake point here. Do you wish to, to re-roll this damage, re which that was pretty low. I don't know. Go ahead and do that. Reroll that damage. Okay, well, there's four more points. You wish to re-roll again. <laughs> no, save no. some of those points. All right. No. Because I don't know. We still have to get out of here. I can burn a fate point to forcibly reroll stuff. I'm okay with burning stuff to leave. Far enough, go. <laughs> but what do you know? Defensive stance. I end my turn. Don't you have grenades? Throw a damn grenade. What? What? The defensive stance them? will make him nearly immortal to their attacks. So that's that's fair. They don't have armor, so it still hurts them. Rear low, go. All right. I have you guys for dealing damage. You do that. He's the tank. We're the DPS. What am I? I'm the tank. Deal DPS. Oh, I'm the tank that deals DPS. I'm going can, to shoot at these. You're the off tank. You can move closer. I'm, I'm individualistic gonna... DPS right now. The I'm shooting lines. at the demon fuckers. Would you get a bonus if you? Is that plus forty? But once these three are dead, you're almost scot free because there's only space marines left in that room, as far as you know. All right, there you go. What, my damage. First one you're targeting? I'm just hitting this guy in the front. Seven. Yeah, that actually does damage. A, yeah, that is a lot of damage. I think that's 78. Yeah. Oh 78. boy, boy, howdy! He's demer dematerializing fast. It's now their go though. So we'll parse it. So this one, yeah. So I'm going to do 1d4, and there's going to be Karnoth 1, Ericles 2, Moth 3, and Chrom 4. We'll make a willpower save first, sir. Well, if they cross in. Yeah. Well, because if they pass it, they can come in. But if they don't, they don't do anything. Yeah, I'm just saying. They're going to make it. They're a making decision for who's going to get attacked. The blob. Don't mind me, I'm eating coconut pancakes. Eric Lady's with the shark. You have pissed yeah. him off. So let's Come see. at me. Well, they still have to get through me first. Well, they have to get through... Well, they can just walk around you. They can walk around you. <laughs> no, well, yeah, no, but there's also first the possibility one, shield. But if they stopped. tried to attack... Yeah, if they tried to attack uh, Eric Lady's, he's the next right one next to Dan. Damn. The second one stops. And the last one. Those were barely successes. Holy shit. Yep, for sure. Oh. Do you want me to throw well, another one? Well, it's opposed tests. So, as long as they rolled above them. Yep, so they're all just chilling at the edge, giving you mean stares. I think this is GG for them. This is this is supposed to be the moment to shine. But sorry, Bersora, go. Do you, do you want me to do the same thing? My little friend. You want me to do the same thing, Basora? Are you gonna attack nope. one of them? You're gonna attack the one that's most hurt first? Uh yes. Okay. But I'm pulling out my bolters this time. I have discovered I think, an issue. Yeah, I think without Moss character, this would be a lot more difficult for sure. Oh boy. You might have wiped them all out. Because all that damage is doubled. Oh. Let me go that, should be in. that should be all of them. Okay, first one's dead on the se second Store shot. Store bolters are great. Yeah, actually, yeah, first one's dead in the second shot. 
So that's call it minus 38, 38. Yeah, the next one's dead on the fourth shot. Eight. And then the next one's dead on the sixth shot. They're all dead. So you wipe them out. Yes, dear? Uh, we'll probably be wrapping up here shortly. Next 30, 40 minutes. All right. I'm talking to the missus. Why? Okay. All right. Uh, sounds good, dear. Prom, go. Alrighty. Well, I think it's I think it's GG for the Chaos Space Marines. Oh boy. Well, do keep in mind there were two devastators in there. No, no, you killed them. They literally came up to the doorway, oh. and you blew up the bomb and wiped them out. There's I thought one the Devastators left. were the guys back here guarding. I, I didn't think the Devastators would have moved up. No, they did. They're trying to get an angle on you guys. Oh, uh, the ones with the Chaos see, Marines. See the ones with the arms? That's Devastators. So I see, can move to... Oh, wrong button. I even put icons on them, so there's one Devastator down the hallway, protecting the rear. Okay. I'm moving right here, so I'm not in line of sight of them. But I'm going to yeet an explosive charge in there. Yeah, it's GG. <laughs> At the speed of mock Jesus. Uh, optimal <laughs> spot would be... Stand by. Let me get a circle. Okay, so I can only get rid of these guys, but... I'm throwing an explosive charge in there. Trying to check. They're all dead. That's more than enough damage because they have no armor and they're taking 66 damage a piece. They are super dead. Cybird is flying around, confirming. Dominic, go. Yep, Dominic, go. All right. Is there a new range line? There are two targets in there. One confirmed with a heavy weapon, it looks like. All right. I'd say probably like right there. If I'm as I'm updating stuff. Worst comes to worst, I can charge in and throw another explosive. So if not this turn, um, next turn we'll. I'm we'll thinking of just turn. getting to cover right here. Would that be okay? Yeah. Oh, this wall is weird. Yeah, this wall is weird. There's like a extra vector out, like that's slightly out. Yeah, I awful. I know what you're talking about. Also, there be careful go. shooting in there because line of sight straight down would be into the guys we want to save. Okay. And I am my turn. All right. Eric Clays, go. He's not, I, on the shark. He's not on the sharks, is he? That you placed down? I mean, everyone would have been in the sharks. <laughs> oh, well. well. We'll ignore it for now. We'll just say they weighed into the sharks, dissipated, and then went. And that's exactly what we did. Cool. I'm going to move forward and sustain. And that's my turn. Karnoff, go. I could reach them and I could attack this I guy uh, so that they're like bound and not really able to attack us going through here. But I besides, I don't really see anyone me. else around. And if we do set up a shooting range, uh, shooting line here, it may hit the Zygers. I can Thunder Charge as well. I've got just enough distance to hit them both. If so yeah, the, the room seems empty and I really wouldn't like to endanger the psychers if unless needed. So for the, in that case, I'm going to use my solo mode ability, burst of speed, to increase my agility bonus by four. So that I can move further. Um so I can actually go and reach them. Uh, this guy in particular. Uh, that's going to be a charge. Uh, 
try to parry you, obviously. Which is what? Weapon skill? Weapon skill, yeah. All right. And I'm just going to stay in there. Yep. That's my, in my turn. Virlo, go. All right. Um, let's see. How far can I move here? I can go to about here. So I'm going to do that. And that is my turn. Your turn. So he's going to take a hit at you, Kronoth. You going to parry that? That's all right. I can meet. But, uh, -huh. uh, yeah, weapon skill. Oh my god. Even if that was opposing. Okay. And then. Uh, can you parry I can attack? Do I can do a counter attack, yeah. Uh, okay. Because he can attack again. So. Oh, wait, sorry. That's the wrong thing. Hold on. That's he's dead. Damage. Let's say if that's your damage, he's dead. This is the damage he suffers. Okay, he's super dead. Okay. You can describe how you kill him if you want, briefly. Uh, Parried and... Bitch slapped with a chainsaw end of a sword. Okay, and you are now open. The Devastator is going to open fire on you. And he immediately explodes. So anything within 10 meter radius of him. Yeah, I think you're just out of it too. I'm just outside of it. So Dang. He just explodes. He <laughs> he suicided. <laughs> yep. It appears that he suicided. Yeah, he had a big he had a big cannon, right? So that was his stick. Then Tula Alec Bar, boom. Well, sucks to be him, I guess. I see. Look no, for the belt, of God. Wait, no, that's not the right line. Kaboom. All right. Because he rolled really badly. I think he got like a 90-something. 90 97. 97, yeah. He just killed himself. All right. That's the end of combat. Dang it. I'm gonna You're like, go Brain, let's see you yell mug and ask, what took you so long? I'm doing an awareness check on them. And I'm doing an awareness check around the room. Also, get that apothecary up here. Well, their armor's and been their armor's been their armor's been stripped, and you see uh, corn symbols on them. That's oh, about it. Fucking, I'm gonna do this. And they've been that. they've been bound Fuck. to uh, what appears to be uh, some sort of statue. Not sure what it is. Some kind of corn statue. Can myself and the medic uh, take them down? Oh from? God. They're on the cob. Myself <laughs> and the medic are gonna tr would like to try and remove them as long as it doesn't look like the booby trap. I think you should probably check whether they are still themselves. Yeah, I would like to do reading on the two of them. Go for or it. Or better yet, an evocation check. Or not an evocation, a, uh, a sign of science check. And what does what? Uh, I'll know if they're demons or not. Okay. Or if they've been like, you know, warp... Well, I mean, I know they're warp entities, but... It should give me a better idea of. I mean, I can no, walk up nope. to them. I think they're demons. Oh. Well, no. Oh, that's fair. Just walk up to them. Would you like a fate point? Nah, it's fine. Take a fate point. It, it's fine. Take a fate point. I can use another thing. Oh, well, then do that. Because I'm, I'm about to go up there well, with a medic and try and pull them down. First, our priest is moving up and seeing if they get shoved out of the way. Yeah. That's a good idea. Priest, do do the priest things. There we go. Uh, well, so you're doing the willpower save? Yeah, if they're demons, they gotta make willpower save. Otherwise, nothing happens. 
well, they themselves are not demons, but they're contained. Well, demons. If they're Stop. possessed by demons, then they would also have to make a save. And the demon's got to make the save. I suppose it has to. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, it rolled a nine. And it <laughs> needs an 80. They, they, the, the two psychers tell you, uh, we're trying to contain this thing. Please do not push this thing out. Do not let it out. Oh, they're talking about the statue itself? Oh, no, they were sent to capture something, weren't they? Right, they are holding the... They are a prison cell. cell. They are the prison cell. Oh, well... well then I'm just going to drop this then, I guess. Right. They tell you they're trying to contain this thing for good reason. Well, you can't contain it indefinitely. That's... You're right. That's what I'm trying to... They, they tell you they're trying to get off this world. They got captured. Mm -hmm. uh, they need to get off this world ASAP. They're they're trying to do, from their knowledge, and they tell you, they kind of tell you the mission, there is a... A void dragon or some kind of dragon deep beneath the earth or this planet. Oh God! And they're the 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 thing they're holding wants to possess that. So you cannot let that Did happen. Did you just say a void dragon? Yeah, that it's wanting to possess it. It's a dragon in the in the in the planet itself, and hmm. that's why they're setting up all this apparatus to destroy and dig down. What if? What if? And hear me out here. We drop a void grenade on top of the thing you're trying, you're currently restraining. <laughs> it comes out into a void grenade. Well, no, they, they're they telling you they don't want to go back into the warp. They want to contain in the, in the materium. It'll just reappear somewhere else. The demon prince they're holding. This particular one. So that's not an option. Okay, well, do you have a way of sealing it? They do, back at the the watchtower. And there are can... ways of cutting off the warp influence from the demons so that you can kill them in a materium world permanently, but yeah, it, we don't have that with us. At the no, moment. no, no, no. They're going to be sealing themselves up forever, basically. So, to the vault they would go. Uh, That's what they're telling you. All right, well, the path's clear. <laughs> I turn to look at uh, Karen. Yep. Let's get ready to move. Um, both the Titans outside have been dealt with, yes? Uh, both Knights are down. Third Bomber Wing was re-erected to engage any frigates. We have, it should be Thank you, 30, minutes, 30 minutes to soft deadline, one hour to hard deadline. All right. Uh, come to our uh, evac that we are... Uh, prepare we'll them for liftoff. We are on the, about to be on the way there. Yeah, we'll have to send someone outside. Uh, well, we're I, all about to go outside, so yeah, we'll send some to have, have someone take the Vox and because crawl here is a, an apothecary. Just so, so the, the third bomber squadron you report it back, they were able to destroy one of the frigates at the cost of all all available squadrons, but they took it out. I mean, that's a fair trade. Yeah, a cruiser versus two frigates. If it gets into a pissing contest, the fr the frigates have no chance. You right. need a wolf pack flotilla of at least six. So, yep. No, but yeah, all available fighters took it out. Or bombers. Excellent. Excellent. Do you all want right. me to carry? Are these are these guys uh, self mobile? Are they ambulatory or do they need to be carried? They they look beat to shit. Okay. Well, I need, I'm presuming. Right, Brasor but can they move by themselves though? Even uh, if they're beat the shit, can they move? We they're just bound, need to go they're bound up. You guys unbounding them? Yes. Okay. So they do not look like they can walk on their own. Okay. I'm going to do this because I already know what you're going to say. What? Oh, you don't succeed the willpower. No, I didn't, I didn't even ask to do willpower save. You're okay, fine. Good. <laughs> if you do, it was there, and I would have fucking fate pointed it. Right, and you'd be like, I'm going to punch these guys. No, no, no. I will let you know when you need to do that. So. Super suspicious now. Uh, I can carry one. If I'm I might be able to absorb a 
few of their wounds so they can walk. Are you also destroying the last effigy in this building? Yes, you said it's outside. Yeah. Send, well, some, gonna... send like two people with the Vox outside to go. I, I can carry the second. That uh, and the destroy that area. effigy. We, we got to go outside anyway if you want to get that shoulder pauldron and the uh, gene seed. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so we're, we're going to start sending people piecemeal up as we go and like withdraw. Yeah, the general's mm-hmm. asking, what are your standing orders? Those frigates are basically almost upon them. Do you want to, they asking you want them to engage them? Well, uh, we're about to come out uh, for extraction or uh, to be extracted. Of this should be. This is your only chance to extract, really. Well, they can't extract. They're the rear guard. The other forces already extracted out. So, I'd say fight for the emperor and kill as many of the heretics as you can. Right. So we can't evac. No, no, no. They no, can't. No. They are the rear guard that 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 let the other guys go. Of, of your forces. Gotcha. We right. can extract if some of them are near the extract point. We could probably put like a squad. We could probably grab a squad, but there's far too many of them that. Yeah, no, we would hold a regiment. So. And my my people? portal will only uh, last for like a minute, if that. So let's. How many we grab these can you guys. transfer with your infinity gate? Uh, as many that it lasts for like eight rounds. Although I'll be probably. How I'll be probably pushing it to no it our ship's within eighty kilometers, so I'll just do it at my normal psi rating. Right. Uh so it'll last for eight rounds. And then And it's uh eight meters round. Mm. Then how many kilometers out can you push it? Eighty. If I push, I can push it out to 120 kilometers. You but push. that's from this point to you know from point A to point B. You could yeah. literally probably get the cruiser with that at eighty kilometers. Yeah, we could hit the cruiser, and we could just have everyone. We could we could literally transmit right now. You have five minutes, or however long it's going to take us to finish our stuff here and grab the gene seed to get to our location, and then we will have literally thirty seconds to save as many people as possible and get them in just straight on the cruiser. Well, I could even push it and have it last like another four rounds. Hmm. So we can well, I mean, we can see. But... Well, we can we can just tell everyone to get here. This will be your holdout holdout location. We can try and save as many as we can as we go. That would probably be beneficial for the future. Yeah. Uh, so uh, send the order. All remaining forces are to rush here as to, like now. You have if they can minutes, get here in, in you have that ten time. minutes to get here. We will evacuate as many as we can. Otherwise, you will fight and die in the name of the emperor. And you will give them one last uh, bloody punch. What and we'll do we give do them. We can give them the grenade and be like, "Hey, worst comes to worst, that blood pit." All right. Well, well we, we definitely need, need to fun. give uh, somebody the grenade so they can go and jump in the blood pit. Yeah. Or we just yeet it. Would you really uh, a cybird trust no, the cybird? People? Oh, leave the cybird alone. <laughs> the cybird is the perfect sacrifice. Yeah, I, I can't just get another cybird. Hey, 2,466 uh, personnel in the AO. We could pro- all of that if they sprint. We could get at least half of that. I think. I mean, you how much can you we in one minute? If they all line up and just sprint through, how long did you Pro- say it is? Eight second or eight times six? It, it well, if I push it, it could be uh 120 or uh 12 rounds. You could so probably 72 save seconds. Squad. That's yeah, that's 72 seconds. That's a minute and a half. I don't think you know just how fast people can like actually run because these guys, if they're just wearing their armor and we tell them run into that as fast as you can. Oh, what about the vehicles? Well, the vehicles can. No, we're, the not, vehicles, we're not. We're not taking not gear. We're not taking munitions. It would be. You, you said it was nine wrong. meters in uh, in radius. Well, if I do it at twelve, it would be twelve meter radius. But that that's a lot. Yeah, that's. If you think about like, say they've got a twenty man front and it just runs. How big is your portal? Twelve meter radius. Oh, okay. Yeah, if they do a twenty man front, that's one hundred and twenty three people you uh long, so you could probably get at least one hundred and twenty of them 
if you think about it, like if you, you've seen a race start, right? Like you, you know what I'm talking about? Like if you line everyone up in a column, mm -hmm. form the portal, we all step through and they just start sprinting through. You'll get, if they do a 20 man front, which uh, one person is roughly how far across your state is 12 meters, 12 meter radius. So it's 24 That's meter diameter. Let me super make sure. Yeah, if it's a 24 meter diameter and a person is roughly uh, a meter across. That'd be 102 people deep. Of all 2,466 personnel. So you could save about 100 people. Yeah, we would probably leave like 48 people behind. Out of your 2,466. That's 100 meters deep. Not even, because if you go nut to butt, I mean, that's probably a little less, probably like 90 meters. So 90 you meters. You wouldn't be deep. able to run nut to butt. No, but like they just start, they just go. It's just a mm -hmm. plow through. Well, you also need to uh, take into account they have vehicles, so you can fit. They're not taking the, vehicles. Or put, put, or, I mean, uh, sure. Well, we're, we're already saying we're not taking vehicles through because then they're they're going through with vehicles crushing people. It'd be a lot easier just for people. If they go, which you can, you can no, we can put the vehicles for, uh, first. We're not taking vehicles though. We don't need them. Well, we need them, but this is just about hey, save the personnel that we can. Yeah, it's a portal of a height and width of twelve of twenty four meters by twenty four meters wide and tall. Which is, you know, twelve meter radius. I think we could save two thousand four hundred, maybe twenty of them. I mean that, that's like almost the the height of a night which has destroyed, so you know that that's the perspective we're dealing with. <laughs> Okay. So I'm saying, why, well, I don't know. We don't. We, why do we care about the vehicles? You've got 2,466 people, and we're putting them straight you to the hold of the cruiser. You can pack people into vehicles. You can pack a lot of people into vehicles, and you can put people on top of vehicles as well. It's like they don't have to really. And you have be, to like, accelerate the vehicle. Outside. And like, yeah, and like they can just go f through. But then you're further. dealing with does the vehicle have battle damage? That when the vehicle comes through, it then has to keep going, not stop, and it's going to be in a cargo hold of a cruiser in space. It's it's a huge cruiser. What do you think it's yeah. small? But now you ha you're ha having to worry about vehicles crashing into each other, crushing, pinning people, exploding. There's a lot. It, of it's better we done to vehicles because I don't have that precise of a control over this gate. That, that, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like you're putting small targets inside a larger target, as opposed to a large target inside of a larger target. Aim small, miss small. You're much more likely to have good success with the small individual peoples. So if there is a fuck up, it's just a person. It's not a whole vehicle with 80 people, because then those vehicles have to get going in formation. On top of that, if the vehicle crashes or something that's what, happens yeah, to the that's vehicle, what they have fuel in them. That's so exactly you're actually creating a bigger a, a potential bigger accident yeah. for a short time when you just have 72 seconds you're better off going out the gate with the people than it is with the with the vehicle because i don't know if the vehicles have battle damage either if we tell them drop drop everything but your weapons and armor and get here they're gonna be dropping ex explosives probably they're gonna be leaving the vehicles they're gonna be a lot more mobile and we're they have 2466 i don't expect all of them to get here we can probably save at least 2,000 and almost 400. 2,466 personnel remaining in the AO. How many That's, did you wish to save and whom? I'd say... All but 66 out. of them. <laughs> Tell all of them <laughs> to get here. We're going to pull everyone we can. There might be six, you know, 60 people that remain behind. Give them, have them each carry a grenade. As long as you can get here in like, you know, the 10 minutes. <laughs> go, go, go. The most wounded stay behind. Sucks to be them. That is not how you spell the word. That is.
What's up? Getting comms from Resistance Network. A lot of their strongholds have fallen to Chaos forces. They are able to muster a squadron of transports, they say, if need be. They are mobile and wish to link up with our forces. Oh, there's no question. What about the wounded? Those that cannot walk? Yeah, then they stay behind. They, they won't have the time to get to the gate. Sure. You, so they need to be able to run may, through the gate the wounded, to make it through the gate. Yeah, the wounded will come. will be here... Sorry, the wounded will remain behind, and any resistance personnel, if they can, they'll pick them up, and they'll meet us at the at the cruiser. We've got exactly 45 minutes, so 15 minutes is when we need to open that thing, and that's our 30-minute soft window. That 30 minutes is, is how long anyone and everyone, after we leave, has to get to the cruiser, and we GTFO. Right. That gives us 15 minutes right now. Get up top, top side, at the apothecary, and to grab the gene seed from Goofball. Fucking, don't say it, uh, Virax. Yeah, and let me give you the ETA of those transports coming in, because they might not make it in time, so. Yeah, like, if I need, if we need to leave those critically wounded behind, let's be honest, t putting them through the uh, gate is probably going to fuck them up even more, and they won't make it. It's better to grant them the Emperor's mercy here and now, or give them a chance to actually go down fighting on their own accord, than to war basically warp them across and then have them die in the cold dark of a cargo sh or of a, a ship's cargo hold. Kind of lucky. Uh, so. And that fifteen minutes would give the crews time to rig. And yeah, the resistance group is I because I rolled for how long till they come. Mm. So they're about two minutes away. So, with their transports. From the transports are? Yeah, they're coming in from the south. Eric, ladies, how do you concur? How do you feel? No, we can see as many as we can, but. Have everyone rally here. If, you're, if you can get here within 15 minutes, get here. If not, set an alternate rally point. Resistance will go there, pick up everyone they can. In 15 minutes, everyone will be leaving. If you haven't left at that point, the Emperor will be with you. Let me see how many can actually make it to your destination, so... If not, we can set, they can set an alternate location to the south for the transports. The transports can pick them up on the go. I know for a fact you can load a whole platoon in in 30 seconds. And that's a CH-53, which, what are these, Valkyries? What's, what's coming in? So about 2,300 of them can make it within the time frame you, you uh, can check, because they're all nearby. Uh, what's, what transports are coming in, Valkyries? Yeah, just, just your standard Valkyries. Cool. The remaining 1,066, sorry, 166, if they can, send them to the south. I mean, the, cool. those those transports will be here within the minute. Yeah, oh, they'll be here within two minutes. Yeah, that's the. Oh. That, cause I rolled for how long they take to get to you guys, and where they were from. Oh, got it. I thought you said they were two minutes ahead of the frigates, so they had a two minute window to to no, 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 rock, no. pop and go. Okay, then no, yeah, no. fuck it. This is the LZ. Get here if you can. Those one hundred sixty six. Do what you can. Okay. Uh, we could probably divert one bird. To go pick them up, 166, bird carries, 48, 48, 12, so I'd need three birds. How many birds are there? There's a formation of 20, they say. 20, that's, divert that's, four to pick up those 166. Should be that's, enough. Four. That's all the resistance left on this, on this planet. <sighs> yeah, no, anyone and everyone's leaving. So yeah, divert four, uh, that's 190, I think, 192 passengers. Uh under worse conditions, so those four pick up those 166. Everyone else gets here within 15 minutes. Let them on the birds as we go. Whatever's left isn't on the birds. Take them with us as we warp through. Don't have to push it. Sound Sounds like a plan. plan. Yep. Eric, ladies, you're good with that? Yep. All right, I'm pushing that. Let's go up top. Apothecary is going to grab the gene seed. I'll grab his helmet and uh, pauldron.
So you're popping the last uh, effigy? Yeah. I need four. All right, where are we putting this portal down at? Because I have an idea. Horn circle. I need time to set it up. Horn circle, up top. Alrighty. Mine are huge. Oh, why it's stretched out that way. All right, there we go. All right, four birds. Each gonna pick each can carry forty-eight people are gonna pick up those hundred and sixty-six. All of the personnel that are arriving here, we're just gonna load them straight on. Those who can't run and walk first, fighting wounded and uh still mobile last. They the four transports pick up what they can. You just want them to head to the cruiser? Uh, yeah, they, I mean, they can come on station here but if they have additional room, but I don't think they will. I'd say just have them go straight to the cruiser. Then you, I'm assuming you give them the entire flotilla that's left, the coordinates of the cruiser. Uh, I will secure... Uh, well, the cruiser can, can guide them in. All right, so they go do that. I'll let the cruiser will handle that because then it's, it's not ground to surface. It's uh, space to surface, much more secure. Of those personnel. All right, I take 10 minutes and I set up two demon trap circles in front of where this portal is going to be. So in case any demons try to come through, they'll be stuck in them and won't be able to leave. Yeah. Minus, of course, the one that we are trying to take through. Well, they can just go around it because they'll know. Oh, okay. Well, they can be at the front. Everyone else has to go through that line. Yes. So every refugee has to cross through this line. Or every resistance fighter, I guess. There we go. They're, on, they're on the transports. So. Well, once they get here and they go Though, through the portal. Those that are going on the transports will, will screen later. Just... Yeah, uh, they already. Ladies, if you want to, yeah, vox up or whatever. Tell the trans the, them, hey, quarantine those guys. The guys mm -hmm. coming through here should be fine. Though, well, the four tri four dropships came, picked up the guys you can't take, and the other twenty three hundred sixty went through. Okay, so I made the portal. They all went through. Apparently, yep. the demon traps didn't go off. No. Cool. We've all cool. made it on to the cruiser. Yes, Correct. we've all made it on. We've recovered the gene seed. Uh, I've got uh, the uh, Varax's pauldron and helmet. Specifically his pauldron with his chapter iconography. There you go. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> How many demons did you defeat, man? Five, six, seven. Ten K XP, holy shit. For all of us? Yes. Oh my oh, jeez. Yeah, we're gonna be max level now. Yeah. We max level. Well it's about a year into the campaign, so that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean we've only like what, eight ranks, yeah. You stopped a major chaos incursion. Cyber yep. did its thing and dead. That would have been, been bad news bears if that demon was able to take hold of that that void dragon in the world. So what happens when when we left and the uh, the cyber dropped the explosive charge? So as it as you do that, that planet in that area cracks open, and out comes that dragon, not possessed, but in a yoky, delicious form. And Ooh, right, time to GT the fuck out of here. And right, let the chaos fleet deal with that. <laughs> it is. It's fighting it right now. So, they're... yeah. So that chaos fleet went from full bore down on us to trying to stop, turn, and either fight or engage, or run. Yeah, that sucks for them. So we can't. So how much XP did we get for all those guys? Yeah. What? <laughs> what, 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 what yeah. For killing a planet. Well, I mean, you got the ten thousand XP. So what what do we get for two uh for two dreadnoughts? It's part of that ten thousand XP. Part of, uh, all that's part of the ten thousand XP. All the, that happened. The ten thousand is a lot. Plus, keep in mind we've been getting XP every session we've been on this yeah. planet too. We gained ten thousand XP 
from all the sessions Ooh. for this mission previous. You gained 2,000 XP. 2,000? No, 10, The last mission was 5K. Yeah. Or the last was... session was 5K. Yeah, Regardless, for this mission, we should have I'm gotten 20,000 in like 200. It was like 30. No. I, I got, well, he, I think he and I both missed the session. I got, right, I got, right. So, so I'm letting you know in case you're not up to that number. I've got total 55,500. Oh, you do the total thing. Well, well for the XP to spend I've that we got, have to spend. Um, 37,750. Oh, to spend? I only have 20, uh, 27,650. I have 19,000. No, Sorry. Like a, Sorry. All right. That was my over. spent. I have, yeah, I have seven. I read the wrong one. I have 17,750. I've got three numbers to look at uh, spent, okay. total, and remaining. Yeah. I didn't have much left over when we started this mission, but. I had a lot left over. I had like 750 yep. spent. I had basically so nothing left over as well. We rescued Jurgen Windcaller and however the fuck you pronounce this name. He rescued them only to then seal them in a prison for all of eternity. <laughs> uh, as Jorgen Windcaller should be. There you go. That's who we rescued. There's two of them. All right, I've got a lot of XP to spend. <laughs> yep. How was that session? You guys enjoy that? Oh yeah, that was a good one. It was I, I, very I wasn't half of the session, but I still enjoyed it. What do oh, you yeah. mean? You killed like a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, true. Are you gonna be making a new character, dude, or are you gonna be sticking with this one? I'm thinking of creating a new character. Character. <laughs> I see. Send so them back to this chapter. Me and uh Dyson will be the only remaining characters from the original group. Niffles. Oh, there's yeah. Eagle yeah. still. Are you gonna kill She's your character off, dude, or retire him? Uh, playable characters. Hmm? Are, you gonna retire, are you going to retire your character or kill him off? Kill him off. Ooh, kill him retire. off. I would we kill him off. Ooh, that's a... Retire him because then you can pull oh. him out later. Also, someone... He wakes up from his nap and he's still on the planet and he's like, where'd everybody go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we turn around. He didn't step through the portal with us. <laughs> He is the Void Dragon now. There you go. Oh, well, I did kill one, though. There you go, Karen. It's for you. If Where? there was a rank 9, we would have almost had enough XP to be a rank 9. Or even 10. <laughs> with the amount of XP we have now. Uh, was there a uh, ins uh, insanity chart? Yes. Okay, can I see it? And you spelled my name wrong. Did I? Or, no, it's with a K. Well, on Discord, it's with a C. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. You, no, 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 no. I thought you put Chrom. I just looked over and saw that. I didn't realize oh, you wait, did. So you did, is, is you that did the everyone? second half of my name. So no, that's me. That? Okay, only you. Uh, here's the insanity chart. You're like, if you have more than 10, okay. then uh, you will... Hold on. Uh, page two eighty seven. Hold on, two seventy nine. Sorry. Here are all of the things that you can get. So you can do a willpower save against that five. From what I'm reading here, I don't actually know. That's a willpower save. Okay, if you have ten or greater, you must make any of those willpower yeah, saves. I don't You're, have ten. Yet. Yeah. yeah. You're getting there. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to tell you what I'm at, but a certain someone has done a psi rating on me. Yeah. Oh, this guy's getting both five chaos, uh, corruption, and insanity? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> if you're someone above 30... <laughs> Yeah, if you have above a 30, you will suffer a Primax Curse, which cannot be removed in any way. I already have a Primax Curse. All right. And then you can have a second level of it if you no. reach 60. 
I would much rather not. All right. And everyone else, the shit you faced. So let's do. Ooh. Oh, so this is where we get insanity. Yes. Not not the ship with things, but this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Not all so the other we... psychic entities we fought, but this one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. All right, so we each get four insanity. Is that what I'm seeing? Yes. yes. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> the ear of the emperor is hilarious. What? <laughs> the insanity. Ear of the emperor. What is, nice. what is ear of the emperor? I need to hear this. So? It's an in insanity chart. It's the, in the, in the image I sent. No, 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 no. I mean, wasn't there a spot on our character sheets to record insanity? Yep. Uh, yes, it's in the first characters and skills. I've and basically been doing disorders, ancestral spirit this whole time. Insanity, corruption, yada, yada. Left. So, in accordance with my pure faith talent, ah, I'm going to spend nice. a fate point and not gain any insanity or corruption. Wait, what? Nice. <laughs> I could spend my zero fate points to do nothing. Wait, you, wait, what did you do? <laughs> he doesn't get corruption points, essentially. How does how the fuck does that happen? He's like a sister of battle. What do you expect? Uh, yep. Well, fuck yourself. Disrespectfully. She doesn't have genitalia. It was removed. What? Oh, that's <laughs> <space for her. laughs> that's still there. <laughs> but if you want, you know, I can give you delay trauma from that, that warp entity and give you Chaos and insanity for that. No, I'm good. It's just funny. Uh, so was... I would like to formally request we go to a uh, a watch, a uh, watch, and uh, I don't know, purify the fuck out of this suit. So, uh, yeah, do that. please. In there... the meantime, please lock me in a separate cargo hold. There was I'm a point in time. Meditate. There was a point in time where Moth was in a VC, and I joined it. And I was going, penis, 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 penis. And he was like, you're a space brain. You don't have one. <laughs> Damn, I don't even know what to get. Oh, all right. I'll just deal with this later on. Uh, oh, oh, I don't like that. No, oh, you get still, out of here with that, sir. We're still doing Unknown that. voice is typing. He's talking to you. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, and I really don't like it. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, Krom is going to... Uh, is there an observation chamber on this ship? Uh, GM? Uh, on the your ship? That, well, it's... This one I don't think is mine. I think this is Eric Lady's. But is there a uh, observation chamber on it? Not on this one. Mm, so it's built I... for pure crime. You got to go somewhere else. So they can confine you. That's about it. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Eric Lady's and uh, hang on. I'm just gonna I'm gonna whisper to him because that makes sense. There we go. Let's in a uh, private conversation with uh, Eric, ladies. <laughs> yes, the brig. <laughs> Considering I have three machine spirits going off in my head and then an unknown voice. Talking to quiet. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I got a I got a servitor gun turret talking in my head. I've got my actual armors, like the helmet. Who is this? Speaking. Stay your business. God. Yep. Nope. About to have a four way conversation in my head. 
<laughs> I'm not insane. You're insane. Yeah, I think the brig is the safest place. Shuddering <laughs> uh, Yeah, the yeah. Spider-Man meme where they're all pointing at each other. Yeah, basically. So if you don't know, Krom's helmet is a very old, old helmet. It's his original helmet. It's a Mark III. It's got its own machine spirit. And then this suit that he's got, the big thing, obviously it should have its own machine spirit. And then I've got the servitor, which has a machine spirit. And they're all in my head. <laughs> and they're all having conversations. It's all in your head. Are you, are you, is your character just starting to get overwhelmed by all of it? Well, he probably so, still thinks he's in the 31st millennium. Yeah, like right now, Krom genuinely thinks that it is M31 and the Horus Heresy just ended and that they're currently hunting down the actual legions when there are still legions. So he very much does not know what the fuck is going on. He's just, ah, I need to kill them. Ah, I need to try and save them. Gotcha. At least that's, that's how I've been playing Krom for this past, like, two sessions. Good game. See you next Sunday. Yeah, GG boys. See you Sunday. Yep, see, see you on Sunday. Yeah. All right, see ya.